And we are live! Hi, everybody! I don't know why I logged in to find all of you guys dancing in Christmas clothing, um, but I love it. And I love you guys. Lolly Ho, Jelly Bean! Hey, Ray Ray, good to go out to have ya. Jelly Bean, good to go out to have ya. Sarah, good to go out to have ya. Lolly Ho, you fucking nerds. Good to go out to have you too, Demins. Reminder, no spoilers. No spoilers would mean anything from Endwalker and any major reveal from any expansion up to this point. If you wouldn't have wanted to spoil it for you, then don't spoil it for others. Yes. Um, but uh, we're, we're slowly getting to the point where the only thing to spoil will be Shadowbringers and uh, Endwalker. I'm, it's, we're on our way, guys. We're on our way. Uh, Jalali, good to be glad to have you. I'm doing okay today. Uh, it was a rough morning, but 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 got been getting some work done. Started video editing um, two lyrical lores, so we should have those out very soon. Um, some other stuff coming up as well. Tracy, good to be glad to have you. Elias, good to be glad to have you. I hope you are having a good day as well. Black Flame, good to be glad to have you. Blinkster, good to be glad to have you. You have no proof I'm in Christmas clothing. Uh. I don't know what you want from me. Willow, good to see you, glad to have you. Tam, good to see you, glad to have you. Damn, I'm actually here right at the start of the stream. Yeah! Woo, <laughs> Lyrical Lores. Yes, my, I, my hope is I'm gonna have Scream out very soon. Maybe even, maybe even this week. Probably this, I'm hoping this week. Um, but I really wanna do something really special for um, uh, In the Balance. Uh, where I want to do like a custom animation, little custom animation thing. So like in the balance, I, I want to get just right. Um, but there are other ones as well that we, that I've still that I've got I've, I've got to get out. Chrissy, good to see you, glad to have you. Emmett, good to see you, glad to have you. What were you? Elio's just Paimon from Genshin, but instead of always wanting food, he just points out random facts about topics out of the blue. <laughs> what were you guys talking about? All we have to do is summon Elio and just say his name three times while looking at a. <laughs> Man, I love you guys. Okay, we're gonna get some our pre-stream warm-up is gonna be the uh, monk quests now because we I want to have monk done also when we finish Stormblood um, We may do a couple extra today. So we may be the first full hour maybe on monk um, And then we will be spending next because we should be done with Stormblood and tomorrow in theory uh, Tomorrow should be the end speaking of if you want to be in the group for there's gonna be should be in theory should be a dungeon and a trial today. At the very least, we should have um, uh, 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 emanation. We should be doing that. So if people want to join for that, make sure to be over by the tea tree when we get towards there. Perfectly balanced as all things must be. Yes, exactly. Death Barry, good to be glad to have you. Is it really a pre-stream warm-up if it's during the stream, though? Right, well, fair, fair. So I guess the, just the stream warm-up then, Demins. Must you, must you be a pedant? Are you ready to depart, brother? Good. The professor has already left. He makes for the village called Alagahan-Gana. There he will take measure of the land. I would strike out soon as well, but one matter troubles me still. The creed for the new Fist of Ralgar. With all due respect, master, at this rate we'll never get to Garabanya. You are right. Sometimes the answer cannot be forced. Mayhap it will come to me on the road. Very well. Let us away. En route, I would make a stop. The place is called Schism. Monks once trained there in revisiting the past. We may better yet walk the future. Pre-MSQ warm-up. Yeah, there you go. There you go, Tim. I'm a furry on the internet. Of course, I must be a pedant. That's just true. I mean, if the Sonic forums have taught me anything. Uh, Yuji Naka got arrested yesterday. Uh, and I, for some reason, went on Sonic forums. Like, some random Sonic forum just to, like, get, uh, see what the response was. Because I know he's not quite beloved by a lot of that community. And let's just say it was... It was it very quickly devolved into pedantic conversations. And why am I talking about Sonic? Well, we mentioned furries, and we all know... We all know what the strongest single IP for creation of furries is. Yeah, he did insider trading. Yep. From when, from his time at Square Enix, when he was working on Balan Wonderworld. Um, and the whole thing around Dragon Quest, and, and which company would be developing it, and yada yada. I can join today for once the Dungeons and the Trials. I'm sick today, so games are all I can do, and it's also not good, I guess. So, Deathberry, first off, I'm sorry you're sick. I hope you feel better at the very least. I hope you rest. Second, glad to have you and glad you can be here. And we'll make sure, if that's the case, then we'll make sure that you, one of the slots are for you. Everybody was a kung fu fighting. You sure did. Also, the furry community doesn't claim the Sonic, <laughs> doesn't claim the Sonic fandom. <laughs> you know, I don't think you guys get to make that choice. <laughs> Uh, how do you upset a furry? Call them a Sonic fan. Monk quests are the opening act of the main event at a concert. <laughs> yeah. Arrested for insider trading. Yep. Who framed Rabbit Rabbit? 
Digimon and Pokemon, specifically Crystal from Star. Yeah, specifically Crystal from Star Fox. That's true. And whether you like it or not, a non insignificant amount of the aughts was. Uh, and the teens might have. My Little Pony could not be uh, unattributed. Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Yeah, but the thing is, Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Think about the thing that people are sexually aroused by in that. It's Jessica Rabbit, right? And Jessica Rabbit's a, it's a cartoon, but she's not furry, you know? Like, how many people are getting horny for Roger Rabbit? Don't answer that. Don't. Don't answer that. Please. Uh, I thought the increase in furries was Space Jam Lola Bunny. Yeah, okay, so that's 90s. Also for the ladies, we've got Kovu from Lion King, Simba's Pride. Spyro with my doorway to the furryverse. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, is Spyro a scaly? If it's a dragon, is it a scaly then? What are the politics on this one here? I'm glad that we're getting started with a wonderful conversation today. Uh, see, mine was Lion King. Yeah, of course it was, Devin. Yeah, but Lola Bunny was definitely a part of it. Don't ask questions you don't want answers to. <laughs> As a child, I came to this place. We faced fearsome fiends that we might open our chakra. In returning here, I hoped that there would be a spark, inspiration for a new creed, but it's not so simple. Hmm, the first one taught that, uh, Fist once taught that through the pursuit of strength, one can approach the sublimity of Ralgar. At, uh, teaching our forebears followed to their undoing. In pursuit of strength, they sought the power of rule, and by that power, they were destroyed. Our creed must rise above the dark past, or cannot light the way unto the future. Nay, we must no find a new path. Well, there's nothing like a journey to finding paths. Let's keep moving, Master. Something will come to mind before you know it. So I pray, Dinetsa. Uh, so I pray. But yes, let us continue on to the peaks, east to the village of Alagana. The Professor Eric awaits us. Scaly is furry. No, 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 I'm not saying that Scaly isn't a subcategory of furry. My, my point more specifically is would. It do dragons and spires specifically count as scalies? Don't forget to buff animals from He-Man. <laughs> is that true? Did He-Man have a lot of effect? I guess I wasn't around for the 80s. I guess the question is, what was the biggest impact from the 80s? Because I, I can speak to like the 90s, the the, the, not, the aughts, and the teens. But uh... you know, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and walk grab the southern uh, the M tribe because we're gonna have to do that anyways. And that way we can talk about furries. Speaking of, yeah, there we go. Go to the Makote homeland, uh, the M tribe homeland, while talking about furries. How more appropriate could we possibly be? Um, that movie made cartoons really freaky. Who Framed Roger Rabbit, Judge Doom, yeah. Uh, I think that would qualify as scale, yeah, but still under the furry umbrella. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, as, as far as I'm aware, you know, the, fur, the things are under the umber, umbrella of furry, but, you know, subcategorization. Dragons Forever, Furry Umbrella. Tam Lim, Tam no, Tam yes! <laughs> Am I missing something about furry umbrellas? Uh, now I'm picturing a literal furry umbrella. <laughs> to be honest, I like the Legend of Spyro series, it was a decent story, less cartoony than the original series. Is that the Wii one? Is that the one with Elijah Wood as Spyro? Am I crazy? Am I, was that a thing? Thundercats, oh yeah, okay, Thundercats, that makes sense, yep. When was the furry Robin Hood movie? That was the 70s, right? Late, mid 70s? 73, was that really 73? Holy shit, I don't know if you guys watched that movie recently. But I watched it again recently, and yep, it's it's as weird and as horny as like furry horny bait as as it was then. G.I. Joe and Transformers were equal were quality cartoons. Well, yeah, yes, I realized that. I, I know Transformers was a quality cartoon, but we're talking about what 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 would have produced furries of that generation. Not so much whether or not it was, there were good cartoons in the eighties. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's just go ahead and go. Right, because we can't go there until. So let's just go ahead and just teleport to Algana. Let's just spiral trilogy was Elijah Wood. Was it a trilogy? I don't know why I only thought it was one game. Robin made Marion can get it. <laughs> yeah, there's a beat sort video on it. It's amazing. Also one of my favorite Disney movies. Yeah, it's it's a wild ride. I, I will say that it has a movie worth rewatching. It is, the thing is, if you remember it as, like, a weird, horny, furry movie, I'd recommend you watch it again, because it's absolutely that, but it's even more so than you remember. And with that started, let us continue with the MSQ. Or, well, with the monk quests. Aligana, when I returned here, I remember. The day the Temple of the Fist was raised. On that day, I was training, like all the days before. Then, without warning, we were attacked. 
We were all, we, all of us, fought bravely, even little ones like me, desperate to protect our temple, our home. But it was all in vain. One after the other we fell, all the while the temple burned. Some few of us managed to flee, but me with my closest brother, Audrey, we stumbled into the village, smoke billowing behind us. But when I looked around, Audrey was not there. I never saw him again. Forgive me, now is not the time for sorrowful recollections. Come, let us look for the professor. Go on then, join the bloody resistance. Add the pile of corpses. That's the only difference you're gonna make. You're wrong! I'm gonna make a real difference. I'm gonna train hard and honor Rolger, and it'll grant me power. That power couldn't save the temple, our home. What makes you think it's going to save us now? Don't be a fool. No matter how strong you become, you'll still be one of men against the Empire. The might of the Empire. Say what you will, but my mind's made up. I'm not letting the bastard Imperials take any more from us. You just... You just take care of yourself, you hear? Brian, good to see you, glad to have you. Souls crushed into submission. The fire in their hearts is extinguished. To rekindle hope within such people. That must be the purpose of the new fist. Praise be, I have it, our new creed. To those who have had their homes stolen, their loved ones taken, naught is more desirous than strength, the strength to protect that which they hold dear. Well, well, I see you have found your answer, and rather more quick than I had expected of someone who'd sooner strike rather than think with his head. With the Order's purpose thus established, we may consider the question of place. I regret to say, however, that the old temple grounds are currently occupied by the Resistance, and that there is not to indicate that they will vacate any time soon. The grounds hold symbolic meaning, a fitting stage for reviving the Fist, but ultimately, the physical location matters not. For our mission lies in the spiritual realm, within people's hearts. There we will kindle the faith, and all may know the solace of worship. That is as, uh... That, as they say, is the spirit. Now then, I shall report on how matters stand in the region. But first, uh, but few fistful, faithful remain, even accounting for those who practice in secret. Nor has there been any trace of the sect of shadow, not since the misguided leader's downfall. Save for those who come over to the light, it is safe to assume that his ambitions died with him. We have long road ahead of him. That's as much as plain, but we will see our journey through, one step at a time. And the one step at a time, and the first step begins here and now. Great, so, um, what do we do exactly? We hold demonstrations, give the people tangible proof, proof that the fist is returned. Elio, first impressions last, and you are the first among us. Uh, as such, I would entrust this task to you. You may leave it to me to round up the villagers. I shall cry up a veritable storm for the coming spectacle. Zenitsa, eh, Ochaka, take the wooden dummy, set it up to the village outskirts, and Elio, limber up. Tell me when you're ready. Is there a name for people with a robot fetish? Probably. Anyone have any Anyone have any info on that? You'd be surprised by how many furries are all horned up for Transformers, Elio. I, okay, to be fair, I don't know that I'd be surprised. Dismayed, but surprised. We'll see. Um... Is there a name for people who have a robot fetish? Yeah, Transformers versus Spyro, Ars Dragons pulled off screen by Shepard's uh, Mech heads, doesn't sound kinky enough. MSQ, Monk Scenario Quest yet. Uh, technophiles, depending on the severity of lust for the machines. Sparkies, I like Sparkies. I'm definitely down for that Sparkies. I'm thinking Transformers Kiss players. Uh, I should make Transformers OC. You should, you really shouldn't. Um, go ahead and add to the pile of corpse. Kind of resonant with a line from 5.5. .5. Yeah, absolutely, Tam. I wonder, do monks need a headbutt move? I've seen some people headbutt boulders to pieces. Do they need a headbutt move? I don't think we need, the Warrior of Light needs any more head trauma. And also, the thing is that headbutt move is still like only like a bam. And so like that still lets like like movement and flurry and stuff. So I guess if you're going to give him a stun maybe, but I don't know. I don't think it's necessary. Uh, that will, should be their animation for the OGCD stun. Yeah, exactly, Tam. Exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, the, that way monk can satisfy the requirements of using their head. Yeah. Monk Union banned the use of headbutts to cut down on the case of CTE, unfortunately. 
Uh, yeah, headbutt that inflicts stun would be great since we know they can't suplex in this game. No, monks don't get a smash boulder since all their marauders keep stealing all of them. <laughs> Transformers Kiss Players was an actual thing. I mean, I'm not, again, not surprised. Learn something new every day. Not many came. Far fewer than I'd hoped, but no less, uh, no less of a show we will give for them. Come, brother, your performance will mark the revival of the Fists of Ralgar. Lead in with True Strike, follow him with Dragon Kick, then finish it with Boot Shine. Um, boot Shine, True Strike, and Dragon Kick's what? What do I have that on? I have it on four. Okay. Um. By using form shift. Oh, by using form shift, I see. Uh, I've been playing so much Sam lately. Damn it. Did he just do? Oh, no, it's because I, I had it first. For the love of. Oh. There we go. I did forgot to memorize the names of the monk moves. I think in like in terms of like this the attack imagery, so I'm really bad with attack names, even for like Paladin. Paladin's like the one few whatever job I'm maining is one of the few jobs that I like will actually tend to remember the names. Hey, ain't that the Fist of Ralgar? But I thought all the monks were gone. Nope, just check Testa. Good people of Alagana. I am Wittigelt, proud son of Alamigo, and brother of the Fist of Ralgar. All know the sad tale of our order. Years ago the King of Ruin laid our temple to waste. Our faith was lost to the people. But without faith, it is people who are lost. For to lose faith is to lose hope. But we need hope now, in this bleak age, more than ever before. So I come before you today, and beseech you. Join me in reviving the Fists of Ralgar. Let us restore hope to the land. You can't fool us. You just want soldiers. Fodder for the front lines. You're no different from the accursed masks. So it was in the past. Our order was seduced by power. Swore so allegiance to the royal family. We monks were little more than tools of war. But the way- that was the fist of old. The new fist serves no king. It hungers not for glory, it thirsts not for blood. Nay, friends, it seeks only to protect that which we hold dear. Protect. Ralgar is the destroyer. As his disciples, there is but one thing we ought to destroy. Our own weaknesses! Okay. Therein lies the strength to protect. Therein lies hope. I will not lie, I am no great warrior. My forebears would put me to shame. But I am not alone. Nay, I have stout comrades besides me, who are no less dedicated to the cause. My foremost pupils, the Nitsa and Oshaka. And Elio, whose sublime skills you just witnessed. Yep, definitely was super on it. Elio, please say a word to the people. Um... <laughs> Okay, I'll let you guys pick on this one. Usually you like the pithy ones. Let me catch up on you. Laugh some warrior main. The boulders are not safe! I would love to draw more Transformers, but they do have a lot of moving parts to them. See, that's that's the thing. That's one of the reasons I really love, like, um, old Japanese animation and stuff, because the amount of, like, draftsmen who, like, became animators is part of the reason that there's so, like, much, uh, mich mechanisms, machines, and level of detail. It's a, it's a very interesting history. Not many came far, far fewer than I'd hoped. A terrible orgy host. <laughs> Do a very avant-garde Wolverine cosplay, Helio. Yeah, yep, yeah, you know it. I'm, I'm. Does that include the Boulder Brothers? I know that. I know that. Uh, Anor would definitely love to smash some boulders if you know what I'm saying. Uh, smash. This... Okay, or Demins apparently. Uh, I really hate clearing out vault space in my game. It means choosing which stuff to keep or toss, and it couldn't take a long while. I'm not a fan of for the 60k monk tattoos on the armor. I like them. I mean, it's interesting that it's, like, henna, but basic. It must be, because, like, it's temporary, but but I'm, I'm kind of a fan. I like the color. No one has an opinion? Okay, we're going pithy, then. Are you ready for pain? Ha <laughs> ha! Our brother monk jests. Rest assured, he has a gentle soul. <laughs> good, good, good catch. Good catch there, uh, Wittergel. To bring you hope, we will give our all. Every ounce of our being. This we solemnly swear. We'd love to have body tattoo options and customization and not just... 
I mean, there are some, aren't there? Are, are there no body tattoos? Or are they only facial tattoos? My thanks, Elio. Your performance paved the way for my words. All present lent their ears. No few opened their hearts. Already villagers have come, seeking to learn of the new fist. A fine first showing. I almost said all the villagers have come seeking uh, the art of the fisting or something like that. Our forebears will doubtless be pleased. By restoring the fist, we honor their memory. I shall commence the villagers' training at once. Initiate them into the fundamentals of the faith. When that is over, we may continue our commission. Till then, pray to seeing, uh, honing your skills. Ere long, they will be called upon again. Issa! Good to see you. Glad to have you. I mean, I'm not against monk tattoos, just there could be a selection. Yeah. A broader selection of tattoos in general. I mean, I'm always in more for more customization options. You look well, brother. Stronger than when we last spoke. Our membership, too, grows stronger. Word spread after the speech. Others have come to learn, but it is too soon to be satisfied. I would welcome more to the faith, but there are villagers still who doubt us, our authenticity and our purpose. To convince them, I would demonstrate our techniques in real combat, by way of cross-disciple ma match. For our opponents, I have the pugilists of Uldah in mind. Assuming they are willing, you are well known to the pugilist guild. If you ask, they will surely listen. Will you speak to them on our, ba for our, on our behalf? Genesis, good to see you, glad to have you. You have my thanks. Go well, Elio, and my regards to Master Haman. Crossfit training. Uh. I think the only body tattoo is the 1.0 mark. Right, I guess. Yeah, Hornet's coming. Sha! I find it funny nobody in 14 knows anything about medieval siege engines. Well, I mean, think about the development of siege engines and how they're less required, right? Think about, um, the because of magic spell casting. We even see this later on in, oh, hey, there's Dee Dee. Um, the, uh, oh, Pichu is right. Um, Um, the, uh, you have spellcasters, right? You have black mage and thaumaturgists and stuff. So the same level of siege weaponry is not in as much demand. And if I'm not mistaken, what am I thinking of? There's something in the back of my brain that is a reference to siege industry. Uh, Squeenix, let me give my Miko a tramp <laughs> Restore the fisting. Yes. Restore the art of fisting. How do you think Roger would feel about this part of the quest? Which part? The earlier part? What, speaking in his name about being destroyer? I doubt we'll ever get customization like tattoos, but it'd be very welcome. I don't know that I would say never. I, I think I'm with you, Genesis, that it's less l likely, but I, I think if, I think, here's what I think. I think if enough people went on the forums and gave feedback that they really wanted it, we would potentially see it. I think it's just not a priority them because they don't think it is. Do super chat, make other little bridge on the verse because I'm on Deadpool Hopper. Deadpool's upstairs sleeping right now, so I'm not gonna go get him, but I will get him later. Oh, ho, ho. if it isn't a familiar face, and I'm one I'm rather fond of. Chuchuto, Rukuta, we have an esteemed guest. Oh, the Lala Waddle. Elio, gods, how long has it been? Well, well, it seems I picked up a good time to take a break from my wanderings. It's good to see you again. That it is. Now then, what brings you here, lad? So I'm here to fight. Want to come with me and fight? A cross-disciple match? Why, that sounds exciting. Don't you agree, Master? Oh, we have Giraboni so far away as well. By the other side of the world! Oh, man, I don't want to go that far. That'd be quite a rough journey. Ooh. Ah, mostly sinewy Highlander and metal ones at that. Where are all the nice ladies? Oh, that's a rich... Oh, that's rich coming from a sinewy Highlander himself and a wrinkled old one at that. I, for one, would welcome the challenge. I was growing weary of pummeling Chuchuto's senseless. senseless. What? I feel like there's so many euphemisms in the Monk Quest so far. Say the one on, says the one on the losing streak. Not even euphemism, possible euphemisms. But of course we'll go. After all you've done for us, it's the least we could do. The sooner the better, I take it. And that's no time like the present. We'll head out at once. What? Hurry up and pack your things. We're going to Garabine. You go on ahead, lad, and let the young Wittergeld know what to expect us. It's on like an Alamegan monk. 
I wish that some of the armor that comes with tattoos had the option to remove them too. Yeah, fair. Siege engines, do you mean Coco Brothers? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Black Mage is essentially a mobile, uh, mobile howitzer, yeah. Uh, Trebuchet has more damage than the squad of mages when it comes to a siege and castle. I would beg to differ. I would think that this game actually explicitly shows that, that that isn't necessarily the case. Because especially, remember that flames are not just, fire attacks are not even just flames, it can be explosions as well. Like, I think Stormblood gives us evidence to say that that's not necessarily true. Um, and that especially depends on the magic user as well. And their ma magic users are much more mobile. And probably a lot easier to deploy because of that, because you can teleport them in. Um, is it wrong to call female monks nuns or no? Yes, it is in this, because they're not, because in this, it's not monks in terms of, um, it, it's not a monk, it, actually, I wonder if it even, it probably is monk, I think it is monk, um, but, but, it, we're not talking about, like, religious, um, affiliation in terms of, like, Christianity. The other thing is that, like, monks can be referred to, like, you know, like, Shinto priests, there's, like, Shinto priests, right, or, you know, um, Buddhist monks, you know, the, the idea, they're much more akin to that than anything. So, no, I, w I definitely wouldn't call the females nuns. I would call them monks. And I think every example, you refer to females as monks as well in the game explicitly. Uh, too bad there's no way to alter any of the models. Well, yeah, but but there's, okay, but here's the thing. Here's here's the thing that people got to get, and I know this is not the point you're making, Tam, but I just want to make this point because I've seen this elsewhere too. Just because you can go around terms of service to do a thing doesn't mean he's not a, you can't use it as an argument because the game is what the game is as as the game is currently that's what that's the only thing you can talk about because you can like the things you could do to break terms of service and all that aren't feedback for like being like oh you can do this so it's already an option it's like well no you can't actually you shouldn't be doing it like we should like don't get me wrong i'm not giving anyone shit necessarily i'm just saying like you know uh, black mages exist, get fucked muggles. Yeah, pretty much. I love that they actually bring the pugilist guild into this while keeping the monk quest as opposed to some other job quest that give up and goes back to the class quest entirely. I mean, Paladin is the one that does that, I think, the most, right? Um, I don't think... Do any of them go back completely? Uh... Samurai? No. Oh, I mean, obviously not samurai. Bard doesn't... Machinist doesn't. I'm mean, obviously machinist. Black mage doesn't. It's really the main one that does it is, is Paladin. The pugilists are on their way. Ralgar be praised. There's much to do. I will make that much known to the villagers. Denitsa, Ochaka, be on hand to receive our guests. Uh, have you tried being a black mage fighting Lisa on the palm of the statue in the cutscene? I have never done anything but be, mo but be monk on it. And you, Elio, schism that is to be the, uh, schism that is to be the venue. Pray, take yourself there and prepare. Sagittarius, good to see you. Glad to have you. The least you could do. Yeah. I back the black mage. Knock knock. Open up. It's the black mages. Yeah, Shaolin monks. Yep, exactly. Uh, yeah, monks are in t in Tibetan monks. The ones that you kick your ass if you get them for season two. Yeah, I mean, and also just look at J Japanese history with fighting like Zen Buddhism monks and like the amount of trouble that they caused. A lot of times, warrior monks have been a problem in Japanese history. It's almost hysterical. We salute those banned in the service of getting us UI improvements. <laughs> and yes, I was referring to the Paladin quest. Yeah. Koshe, good to see you. Glad to have you. Ninja goes back to the Road Guild quest quite often. Does it? Man, I need to replay Ninja. Ninja is one of the... Ninja and Bard are the ones that I have the worst memory on currently. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, it should be right in front of there. Uh, what's the best way to get there? I'm just gonna go from Castrum. Yeah, well, well it's good to, always good to have you, even if you're late, Koshak. Yeah, Denitsa and Kachaka receive our guests. Join our YouTube channel for the low, low price of not a bunch a month. You get custom emojis, special badges, and the warm, fuzzy feeling of supporting your favorite archive. This, that's us. And that allows us to uh, make this whole thing made much more sustainable and go a long way. I have to say, it's quite a sight seeing a black mage be so agile fighting the least. They're usually slow or stationary. To be fair, though, part of that's mostly because of ley lines more than anything else, you know? I love playing both Ninja and Bard. Do I like playing Ninja and Bard? I don't think I like playing Ninja and Bard, but I appreciate them, and I'm glad they exist. Yeah, but mostly Dancer. Yeah, Dancer's fun. Dancer's fun because you just... This is not true, but you just press the buttons. Is the button glowing? Then press the button. It's not really accurate, but it feels... 
Uh, oh yeah, but it's still a ninja story. It's the Oboro crew recruiting the rogues to help them. Mostly the answer. Finish base and walk over the weekend. Nice job, Silver Kogaku. Good to see you. Glad to have you, by the way. Do you have emotions? Yosh. Yokodeki Mashita. Silver Kogaku. Yeah. Can I jump up? Let me see. There we go. I don't think, did I? Mm. I need to make sure, is my gear high enough? Okay, yeah, I, might, I may need to go buy gear for doing MSQ, but other than that, we'll be good. You are here. Good. The people of Alagana expect quality match. Let us not disappoint them. Soon the girls will arrive with the pugilists. I told, as I also told the professor, but he will not attend. Science before savagery, he says. Ah! Seven Hells, what are you? Zenitsa, Ochaka, they're in trouble. The voices came from the river. With me, Elio. <laughs> I see you're trying to take up for Dez there, Tam. Lord, do people have Christmas up lights up where you are at? I, I, uh, I'm having that, that they're currently doing that too. Excuse you, the sweet science of <laughs> There is a science behind the savagery though. Yeah. It's an art form. No worries, Kusilver Kogaku. I don't remember how to play Monk properly either. My techniques, they have no effect. <laughs> well, well, we thought we knew every ilm of your style, but your adventure, you're not like the others. You are the Griffin, the wretched who led countless soldiers to their doom. Good men and women with lives ahead of them. But you are supposed to be dead. The wretched who died was but a devil, and good riddance too. For he presumed to have ambitions of his own. I am the true Griffin, and my true name is Theobald, Theodric's heir and rightful king of Alamigo. Theodric's heir, king of Alamigo. Aye, and in my royal duties I have come to deliver a warning. Such cults as propagate false beliefs will not be suffered under my reign. Cease any foolish notions of reviving the Fist of Raugur. Swear fealty unto me, or you will meet the same end as your treacherous forebearers. Lies! The Adric's line is spent. Unrightful or no, none would be bow before you. The people will not suffer another tyrant. You would wound me, Wittergelt. Or should I say, Theodred's dear cousin. What? Ha ha ha! All this time you didn't know, neither who you are, nor what became of your parents. This ignorance cannot be borne. Nay, we must rectify it at once, you see. For your father and mother, they conspired to betray the royal house. For their crimes, his grace, my father, put them to death. And though your parents were the dimmest of traitors, they had wits enough to know when the game was over. So they sent their precious Theodred, then but a bawling babe, to be raised in the safety at the Temple of the Fist. Though my father tended to that squandered little place soon enough. You dare mock my parents and my home? Who you claim to be, I care not. I will make you pay. Have you learned nothing? Your techniques are useless against us. If your defeat suffices not to convince you, look to the proof of your beloved temple's destruction. Let 
Listen well. Alamigo needs strong rulers, an absolute ruler, to smite her enemies and to restore her glory. That ruler is me. Your feeble fist has no place in her future. It is not a good time for the match. With apologies to Master Hamon, I must call it off. Denitsa, Ochaka, pray return to the Alagana and rest. I shall remain behind to receive our guests. Wait with me, Elio. Who needs fancy spells when you have the greatest ability of them all? I cast Fist! I've been leveling my warrior lately by having fun with it so far. Good, Emmett, good. Yeah, warrior, warrior's a good, good time. I'm glad that you're getting some practice with that and enjoying it. Whew. Sorry for the delay, my friends. Having been there here once before, I thought I'd handle it on the route. But it was the route that handled on me! <laughs> hmm? Is something the matter? I harsh truths have been thrust before me, calling my very existence into question. As I am... I am not fit to... Uh, no fit opponent for you and yours. Forgive me, Master Hamon. Far as you have come, it pains me to say this, but I must call off our match. Well, then you don't do, uh, you don't do so lightly is plain to see. Whatever has happened must be serious indeed. For now, my boy, you best focus on yourself. There'll be another time to trade blows. Come, you two, we're going home. Already? We barely got here, and by the scenic route besides. Let me rest a moment, will ya? Oh, don't be such a milksop. With all your roaming, surely the distance is nothing to you. And Wittergelt, to make it clear, we're merely postponing the match. Whenever it is that oils you know, I have faith that you'll bounce back, ready to match me blow for blow. Master Haman is a soul of kindness. I have nothing but gratitude. Let us return to Alagahana. I will must look in Denitza's Ochaka. Meanwhile, please find Professor Eric and tell him all that has come to pass. Uh, war fun, to be honest. Yeah, I forgot. What's the monk limit break PvP? It's just like... like and then like like thousand like doing like a thousand blows basically. Oh wait, in PvP, is it is it the same in PvP? I don't know what it is in PvP. I like my steak with the cow still mooing is my saying. Are you are you a, are you a furry dust? Is that what you're saying? War is a lot of fun. Oh right, I forgot this. Yeah, the whole Telenova stuff. Yeah, blue uh, rare steak is the best thing in the world. Blue rare steak. What the? What are you? What Elias? Elaborate. What speak you of? For I know not. It's amazing how pugilist training can offset the weakness of monk techniques. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, right? Is that, think about it, I mean, it's not literally like a rock, paper, scissors, but think about it like a rock, paper, scissors. Oh, I always forget that this is in here. I love, I, I've, like, I never come in here. That's the sad thing, is there's lovely little places all over, like, the fringes and the peaks like this, but they just, you don't ever think to explore them. You're not really incentivized to, to be fair. Uh, the quest line went all tell Nova. Yeah, gotta enjoy the popcorn while watching the drama. Yeah, full soap opera, totally. And the thunderstorm is perfect weather for this. Yeah, it was, definitely was. Uh, we're just go back to Marvel's Guild during the quest line. Yes, but it's not like Paladin, where literally your like 70, your Stormblood story is straight up just a gladiator quest story. Yeah, but in the service of the words, you know, I like my steaks rare. I like my steak, I like my steaks like I like my women on a plate? What? Let me paraphrase. You're telling me that Wittigelt, our Wittigelt, the lumbering slab, is in fact Theodred's nephew to Theod nephew to Theodric and king of ruin. Uh, and that this man, who claims to be the griffin, presumed dead, also claims to be Theobald, Theodric's rightful heir, also presumed dead. By the gods, not even the drink-addled bard can make this up. Uh, outlandish details aside, I have an inkling as to the identity of those who set upon you. They are the selfsame crew that raised the Temple of the Fist, the Corpse Brigade, trained in the countermonk combat. They serve the King of Ruin as his personal guard, though personal agents of destruction would be more accurate. But when their liege fell, they followed in, uh, in their turn, becoming overqualified bandits. Even so, it appears they have not entirely forgotten their training. That would explain why, for all their mastery of the Fist, Wittigelt and the girls had no answer to them. That you could hold your own, I believe, is due to your pugilist background. At any rate, now 
Now is the time to arm ourselves with knowledge. First of all, I shall look into Theobald's mirrored claims. As for you, I suggest that you check on your friend. Knowing the oaf, he'll be confused and crestfallen to no end. In PvP, Monk Limit Break is just a bunch of different moves in one attack. Yeah, I mean, which is not that different than PvE. Yeah, for no reason to explore them without side quests to take you there, yeah. What? What? <laughs> no. <laughs> what are you guys giving me? You've been saying weird stuff in the chat this entire time. Why is it I say one weird thing and everyone gets all uppity? I could continue that poorly thought out analogy, but I'm go not going to, because I'm better than that. <laughs> Thanks, Dimens. All that's missing is Telenova as the monk speaking Spanish. <laughs> Uh, blue rare steak is ready when it reaches the internal temperature more and more than one. But is it blue? Ah, it is you. I have known defeat, tasted my fair share, but not like this. I was helpless as a babe. The strength to protect, I proclaimed, but I could not even protect my own. All my years of training, all useless. What have I to offer the people? And to think I, the Mad King is my uncle. I am nephew to the man who murdered my parents, who destroyed our temple, who brought our nation to ruin. Forgive me, brother. I would be alone. Okay. We'll call that there, and we'll get started in the MSQ. Um, but, hey, who wants to see something cool real quick? Dabba dee, dabba die. <laughs> who wants to see a project I've been working on recently? And that is going to be for uh, our uh, Shadowbringers uh, cosplay stream. Oh, I see. Right, that's why I went there. Okay, we're gonna need to go out this way. Yeah. Nope. Nobody ever wants to see any school. Hey, if people don't say, if if I ask and no one says anything, I'm not thinking. Okay, I'll show it. I'm thinking. Okay, I guess we'll continue with the MSQ. So is that a yes? Do people want to see it? Because otherwise, I'm just gonna keep walking. Project, project, sure. Oh, Des, what such such lovely passion and and <laughs> sure. <laughs> Let me make sure I can that people can see it. So the staff in the middle is I need to I'm gonna replace it with a different with aluminum and like a, a whole thing and it, it'll be a different color and it'll all match and stuff. But uh and here's the It's not all glued together because this isn't the final staff yet, but but So I got that done and I now just have to work on some other parts as well. And then I already have an Endwalker one planned. So, so Endwalker's covered too. Seeing as I'm doing them in my own time, I guess we probably won't do them as a funding goal. Though that said, I may just do them as a funding goal to offset the amount of materials costs. <laughs> it was, but, but, uh, I mean, right now we're still working on the uh, maid stream anyways. Which I'm surprised, because, like, no, not, not begging money. I'm just surprised. I would have thought that, like, people would want me and silly clothing more than, like, some of the other random things, but, you know, I, I get it. I mean, also, everyone's, you know, struggling with money right now, what with seeming heading towards a recession and stuff, so. I get it. What do you want from me? I want your enthusiasm! And I want you, I will have it, your soul and all! Actually, I should probably say, I'll have it, your soul and all! Actually, I should while doing that, I should probably also hold up. If I said this wasn't the end, would you believe me? No, it's not blue, but it appears purple when first cut into, but turns red when it gets exposed to oxygen. Oh, okay, cool, eyes. That's cool. Rocking them jammies. Yeah, I, um, my last pair of blue jeans, I, I owned, I literally didn't have money to buy more blue jeans, so, or mo more pants, and my last pair of blue jeans ripped, uh, down the crotch, so I have only been wearing suit pants and or pajama pants for the past two weeks, um, tell no one, 
So currently, uh, you may see me a lot in either suit pants or pajama pants for the next week or two, uh, while I while I get scrounge some money for for to go clothing shopping at some point. I see Elio's beating stick. <laughs> Top look a little lol, just the boss key. The talk looks like a lot. Yeah, it, just, it definitely does look like a boss, a ma the boss master key. I totally see what you're saying, uh, Tim. Mold still says no, still after car repairs, unfortunately. Deathberry, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I literally only meant to bring up the topic as, like, genuine interest, not as a, you should put money in. I appreciate, and to any of all you who have given in the past, and I appreciate any, and even if no one does in the future. So I, I hope everyone's making, t take care of yourself first. First and foremost, make sure you guys, everything's good with you guys. Money? Who needs that? Dust falls out wallet. Yeah. See, we can all relate. We all know. Oh, fuck. He got my soul. No. Stop making me feel emotions. Wow. Aw, oh, shit. Yeah. Got you guys. I got you guys. Establish dominance. May my going out with crotchless jeans. <laughs> yeah, just cut the full crotch out. You know, you've heard of ashless chaps. Now here's crotchless jeans. <laughs> I had to go out in the world today and wear pants. It was awful. Just pants are company, though. Yeah. But, but the problem is that you can only wear them for so many days before, you know, like, they get dirty and you need them to get washed or, you know, dry cleaned and stuff. Everlar, good to see you. Glad to have you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. My occup the occupation is ended, then, and the people must be informed of our victory. But I will not simply give up on Gosetsu for lost. Uh, but before aught else, we must needs research the runes. Allow me, my friend. The castle is still collapsing into the river and could easily drag you to your deaths. I can navigate the waters easily without fear of drowning. Be reasonable, brother. You know he's right. Oh, he am. Remember, we just lost Gosetsu in the Battle of Doma's Castle. Elio, if I may, a, a word, if I may. My lord withdraws into himself, unable to turn his thoughts from the keep. He needs us now more than ever. My friends, I am returned. I swam as far into the ruins as I could. And? Did you find him? Nay, lady. Not to remain of keep from, uh, for me to search. Undermine, uh, undermined from below and shaken from above. The manner of its collapse it was much most unusual. If the floor beneath him gave way before the rest, it is not impossible that he could have been sent tumbling into the river. But the water is thick with silt and debris. Despite my best efforts, I could not find him. I am sorry. There is not for which you should apologize. Thank you, Sorban, for taking it upon yourself to search. That's the other thing in 14. If there's no body, ain't, it ain't, there's no death until, there ain't, until there's a body. And even then, sometimes. If the, and if the body moves after there was a body, then also the body tells you nothing. The castle is in the ruins, and the people are eager to learn the fate of their nation. We leave at once. Are you sure, my lord? The day is won, and the morrow beckons. It falls to us to greet it. I'm going down to the docks to see if I can get one of the Confederate ships to take us to the Enclave. Mayhap we should tell the others at the House of the Fierce to gather there. Magna and Sadu uh, know not of what happened in the castle. I will go and tell them. They fought valiantly and with honor, Serena. I pray you tell them that as well. Oh, Blinkster, thank you for the $10. Much appreciated. I will put it to good use and get some pants. You too, my friend. We were instrumental in this triumph. I must insist that you be present when we bring these tidings to my people. My blue jeans gotta be expensive. I could probably try to go to the Goodwill, see if I could find something. Um, Crushless jeans sound heckin' uncomfortable in the northern winters, though. Yeah, but everything's heckin' uncomfortable if you're in the northern winters, but yes. Without drowning like the three of us, there don't have the Kojin Bussin. Yes, but also we don't swim as fast, right? So Sorbon still would probably be at an advantage. But Alfie, yeah, would be just screwed. We'll welcome the Morrow with open arms. I love the scene of Alfino testing himself into the water. Eating himself into the water, yep. We'll be certain to have more than something something tears on the morrow. Don't worry, he's been practicing, supposedly. <laughs> Looks at the ass. No death until there's a body, Nanamo intensifies. Yeah, th that was the one example where I, where 
the Nanamo is the one example where it's like, okay, may maybe that, that that was warranted. Where the body disappears, like with certain primals. Well, there there was a body, and then the body just the, there's a body, and the body disappears into the ether. It's a death, right? Like in that sense. Because there's other people like Yasail, you know, where that happened. Good use, get some pants, these don't add up. <laughs> Should probably switch to Sam. Oh, thank you for the reminder for switching to Sham. Yes, we, we, we're not... Uh... If you can get flannel lined jeans, they're the best in the cold. I love them during the winter. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a question of what's available and what's cost. Yeah, it's good to see you. Glad to have you. Also, with the holidays and the fact you're doing Stormblood, I believe a traditional Alamig and Starlight celebration greeting is order. Feliz Navidad. I appreciate you guys. Oh, are being Samurai and Doma and Monk and Alamigo? Yeah, just like the uh, CGI trailer is, and the gameplay trailer that you see for Endwalker. You all look like shite. The captain thought you might need a ride to the Enclave. Ready to come aboard? Let's let let's -a go. Oh, you go then. Sit wherever you like. I don't know what happened in there, but it's over. You won. That's cause enough for celebration. And those people you're about to see need something to celebrate. Thornton and Heaven's Ward left no corpses. Good riddance. Right, but that's also because they became primals. And they returned to the the, the live stream. We brought everyone here. You were the last to arrive. I see. Thank you. We owe the Confederacy a great debt. I have waited 25 years for this moment. You owe us naught. I just wish I could get like a Sam, like where the like 70 or the 70 Sam set with Dark Knight so I could just make Orin from Final Fantasy X. I mean, it's not, it's not quite one to one, but I would love if there was just an Orin set and then use it, have it for Dark Knight. Look, it's Lord Hian! Lord Hian! It's him! He lives! He lives! Some few words of encouragement would not go amiss, my lord. Uh, right. Uh, yes, uh, of course. Uh, off you trot then, you're their lord, remember stand tall. Well, if you won't say something, I will. <laughs> you're their lord, remember, stand tall. Forgive me. This is rather more daunting than I had anticipated. But you are right. I must be strong. Wish me luck. Emmett! Thank you for the ten dollars! Oh, thanks for cheering for having a bad day. Wish you luck on your quest for new pants. Thank you! Yeah, and anything I can do. I hope I hope this I hope you have a, I hope your day gets better. I really do, man. And you do not you don't you, none of you have to pay for ten dollars to have well wishes. If any of you are having a struggle day uh, having a rough day out there, um, know that you're not alone and seriously, you aren't. And uh, if you want to hang out with, like, people in the community, you can always join to hang out in the Discord or, you know, just, met, you know, talk to each other here. Anything that'll help. And if just at the very least, you have my well wishes we in all sincerity. We are a sorry lot, are we not? Tired. Dirty. Stinking of blood and sweat and ash. The people pushed to the point of breaking. And yet, we won. The perseverance to endure decades of oppression. The will to carry on the legacy of those we have lost. These were the bonds that held us together and gave us the strength to reclaim our home. 
After 25 hard years, the shadow of the Empire no longer darkens these lands, and we may at last look forward to the dawning of a new day. But, my friends, it will be a day of work. So I ask you, have you yet the strength to stand? To rise up with me once more, here and now, and begin to rebuild our homeland? This will not end with Doma. We will see to that, right, Lys? Right. This is yet another example. Indeed. Just give that like. This is but the beginning. The Let her already have the resolve. And it shall soon bear us back across the seas and onward and to the next battlefield. God, the, the, the story really, at so many angles, sabotages itself in terms of, like, letting Lise have her resolve and, like, demonstrating it, right? Like, don't have her, Ali say, ask that. Let Lise say, this isn't the end. We're going to fight it. And now, like, this is, like, the culmination of the Doma arc and getting to the point that she's now confident. So when you return back to Girabanya, she already has that, that force of will. And they're already, like, showing moments like that in a second before. It's just so... It's so weird to me that, like, Stormblood really, it, it fucks up. It really does fuck up. I think on a number of ways in which people may not like it, I totally get. But, like, the one place that I think it just really fucks up is how it mishandles Lise. And not even because Lise is bad. But, yeah. Again, thank you for the, the $10, Emmett. Um... The only time my body gets good sucked into the ethereal sea is when it, we unveil... Uh, Everlark getting him's key cannon job. I'm so happy that the 90 Sam is now outside. That was pretty. It took years of study to punish you. Yeah, Dez, Dez is a masterful in how often. Dez, Dez, like, bides their time and waits to hit it hard. Um, but then, of course, they also keep it coming real hard and fast. Without some of those dungeon bosses, they just dissipate and leave no corpse, like Sestasha or Wanderer's Palace. Didn't realize decomp happens that fast. Well, so remember that people... that So there's two possibilities there. One of which is that that's mechanical rather than um, diegetic possibly another another i mean diegetic's not really the right term but anyways the other possibility is that um they're returning to the ethereal sea think like what happens to you sail right if you won't say something i will i love the trope of badass who sucks at social situations yeah it's a skill being good at social situations is a skill you can be incredibly competent at all number of things and be really struggle to in social situations or even specific social situations honored hero you seek passage across the one river uh, stand tall, my friends. Yeah. Stand tall, my friends. When stand tall in the dark, do we carry on? On wings of hope, you rise up through the night. May all of the darkness inside you find light again. We're all losers. Speech energy here. What I was trying to say is join our once great Raha cult. We have plenty of books and cookies to go around. Yeah, you don't have to be in the part of the Raha cult to be part of the community, though. Uh, absolutely adore the scene. However, if you want to, yeah, it's a good scene, Demons, and that's it's it's that it seems like that that could have really benefited the first third. Twenty five hard ilms years later, yeah. Twenty. So the first thing in response to LSA's resolve, yeah. Sorry, when it came to resolve, they had to take out Elise. God damn it. The main character of Elise's story is Alice. Yeah, kinda. If I don't forget her fall asleep, I'll try to join the skirt. Yeah, absolutely. Love to have you. Uh, this is the end. Hold your breath and count to ten. Also, rebody's disappearing. Void sent disappearing. A puff of aether when killed on the source. Yes. Um, 
but it's also not clear what but they're also their the astral their astral nature makes them weird on a number of levels um they also disappear into a puff of, of smoke i mean obviously there's a couple of different metaphysics things going on in the astral but like when they're killed in the sword in in the 13th they puff into smoke but the problem is that they can't they return because there's no ethereal sea for them to return to on the 13th because of it's it being astrally rent apart whereas on the source the likely there's two possibilities which is they either return to the 13th uh, which there's a couple of things to suggest that for some of them or that they are actually returned to the ethereal sea upon the source uh, i guess not returned to but drawn into it um which is also quite likely if you enjoy the stream and aren't a member of our discord why not come join us at discord.gg slash archives yes anyone else think Rob would be a perfect character to cameo in a future kingdom hearts game because of the whole world travel thing I'll admit, as someone who my 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 thoughts on Kingdom Hearts have been said elsewhere, but um, yeah, I think if you're gonna do another Final Fantasy character, uh, a Graha or a Yustola, I think there's I think there's quite a few 14 characters you could definitely pop in. Or check this: your Sephiroth fight in Final in Kingdom Hearts 4, instead of it being a Sephiroth fight, it's Xenos. Boom. Are you quite certain you would not prefer? Are you quite certain you would not prefer to stay a while longer? There's sure to be festivals, uh, at which you would be the guest of honor, like it's not. Very well, there are others in which we might celebrate. Other ways in which we might celebrate. By rejoining the fight for freedom in Girabanya, for one. Short though our time here has been, we have all come to regard the land and our, her people as our own, I think. Uh, but we have done all that which we can came here to do. Word of Doma's liberation will soon spread throughout the Empire, and we must seize the opportunity to rekindle the fires of liberation in the West. We dare not say, uh, we dare not allow the Imperials a moment's respite, lest they march on Doma again. For the sake of all concerned, we should leave immediately. Did I hear you right? You're leaving? I'm afraid so. We've got our own battles to fight. What about you? Will you be heading back to the steppe? Yes, the war here is ended and there's no cause to remain. The Oronir and the Dothra have already withdrawn. I will follow them anon, but I wish to bid you farewell first. The blue two must return to their homes, but we will bring be back. Doma has need of merchants and builders. We are eager to offer our services. And just like that, our great fellowship is broken. Without ceremony or pomp, you steal off into the dark. No matter, we have plenty to be getting on with. Places to be, people to rob, and so on and so forth. And the captain never was one for my mingling. I'm a pirate. Give me a song at the tavern and I'll be happy. Hobnobbing with a Lord Hien? Nay. <sighs> no taste for the finer things. In any event, we, we not part ways here. If you are for Kugane, we would be happy to take you. Her waters have always been fruitful. I wish you well on your journey, my friends. May you ever walk in crimson. Thank you, Sirna, for everything. May the Kami speed you on your way. Until we meet again. Can't imagine it fun being immortal yet constantly starving with never-ending hunger. What? In reference to what? Oh, a void sign. Not remains undone. You're ready to depart. Kugane, then. You guys are hopping in chat today. I love it. Uh, Sydney would be a great Kingdom Hearts companion, honestly. I don't know that you, yeah, you know what, that could work. Especially when you think about how three went compared to like prior ones. That could work. Have everything? Good. We will need to weigh anchor before the Sekisegumi arrive. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for what you did. Give my regards to the Uldan. I will say, I'm not, you know, after being so burnt on Kingdom Hearts 3, I was not necessarily, I wasn't sure if I was going to play Kingdom Hearts 4. If they put 14 in it, a 14 character in it, that might be enough to tilt me over the edge. I informed Raban of our coming. Uh, I informed Tataru of our coming. She and Hancock shall be waiting for us in the Ruby Bazaar. Then it is, uh, uh, then it is here we part ways. Best of luck to you and yours in your practical endeavors, I suppose. Uh, I've only ever really played KH1, KH2. I mean, honestly, play KH1, KH2, and Chain of Memories, and. I guess the the problem is I love a lot of Birth by Sleep, but also Birth by Sleep is starts a lot of the problems that we go on to continue on to be a problem. Uh, Sydney trying to understand the plot of Kingdom Hearts is not a mental image I needed, but now I'm glad I have it. I mean, to be fair, 
you could literally give that mental image of like anyone, like the entirety of the Scions trying to piece it together. Like you could have the twins around a table with Uriange and Astinian like trying to like make it all connect because the problem is it doesn't. It doesn't. It just retcons and contradicts itself. You think World of Warcraft's bad with bad with retcons? Dude, I'll tell you what, Kingdom Hearts is maybe one of the most aggressive retcon happy series I've ever goddamn seen. And it's just nonsense. Uh, and I loved it for, for a long time. And I still have a fondness for a lot of it. Uh, they need a new song for KH4. We'll see you guys there next decade. Well, I mean, we'll, maybe maybe they'll just completely break trends with... And they won't even have Hutada Hikaru do uh, song for four. That'd be sad if it's possible. Is it just me or is the game gone blurry? Uh, no, that's just the tears. Uh, let me check to see that... Stream seems good. Make sure to check your gear icon. You can press the gear icon and change the quality of the stream as well. Walking in the light, walking in Crimson, walking to the end. What don't we walk with? Swag? Um, no, I mean we walk with swag. With pants. Definitely with pants. I do not walk with pants. Uh, neither currently in real life nor in if you look at underneath my togi. Well, welcome back, everyone, and congratulations on a job well done. It is a pleasure as ever to see your smiling face, Tataru. Less so yours, Hancock, though Rosho and I are sincerely grateful for your assistance. The pleasure was all mine, Master Alfino, I assure you. Anyway, you'll be glad to hear that I have already char chartered passage for you back to Limsa Laminsa. The ship is to leave port this very day, but the captain has agreed to wait until the four of you have been bo have boarded. The four of us? You mean to stay here on Kukane? Yes, I gave it some thought and I realized that even with Domas free, there's still a need for a woman in the middle. Mayhap even more than before, considering all the friends and alliances you made. As I've told her many times before, I would be more than willing to assist you at... As I told you many times before, I am not about to let you worm your way into our affairs and exploit our connections for your personal gain. Uh, must you always presume the worst? So there you have it. I will remain here for now. You needn't worry. I'm a regular at the Holstery and a half dozen in local institutions. Everyone loves me. So, go, go. Don't let me keep you. But your supplies and souvenirs will... Uh, buy your su supplies and souvenirs while you still can. When you finish, make haste to the do docks. Pier number two, to be precise. I'll be waiting for you there. And now I'm thinking of a fanfic where Void Send and Vo invaded TGI Friday for endless apps to satisfy the endless hunger. Okay, I'll be fair. I I'll be I'll be real. If you write a fanfiction with that premise, I would consider reading it on as a stream or on stream. Honestly, if you guys a bunch of you guys writ like hilarious fanfiction, I would definitely read that on a stream. That would actually be pretty funny. If it's slash fic, maybe less so. But but uh. Was Chain of Memories the card one? Yes, I think I played some of that. Yes, it is, it is Kingdom Hearts 1.5, effectively. Well, Kingdom Hearts 1.5 is Kingdom Hearts 1.5. It, it is, Chain of Memories is the sequel to Kingdom Hearts 1, and Kingdom Hearts 2 is actually the third game in the series. And if you don't play Chain of Memories, Kingdom Hearts 2 doesn't make a lot of sense. From where, well, it, it makes, it, 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 you can follow it well enough, but you're like, how did we, how did we end up here? Because Kingdom Hearts numbering sequence has never made any goddamn sense. Uh, looks fine to me. We walk it without rhythm so we don't attract the worm. <laughs> Quick, to the desert. Let us find Shai Halud. Alice hanging out over in the desert going to be like, are we going to blow up Shai Halud or what? First to arrive as always. Hopefully the others will not be far behind. Grab me. <laughs> I'll admit, I haven't heard that one for Hancock before. Ah, there you are. All packed and ready to go? To the best of my knowledge, yes. Apologies for the wait. The task of tying up loose ends invariably takes longer than one allows. Happily, however, all now seems to be in order. Then there's nothing left to do but to board the ship. Do try and enjoy the journey, won't you? It may be your last chance to rest for a while. That would depend on the good captain's choice of route. As ever, Tataru, I pray you take all due precautions while making your inquiries. Better to avoid the local authorities altogether than risk a repeat of our Ishgardian episode. 
And what sordid episode is this, pray tell? Not to speak of, I assure you. You there! Hold that ship! Yeah, you see, it's because it's the same period they're referencing, partially. Shouldn't you? You left with nary a word. I half wondered if I had done something to offend. Upon learning that you had departed for Kugane, we immediately resolved to give chase. Our comrades can manage affairs in our absence, and it seemed the least we could do. You mean you came all this way just to say goodbye? That too, I. But there was something else I felt I had to say. You helped us win our freedom, and for that I cannot thank you enough. Accordingly, after we have established an interim government and so forth, I think it only meet that we repay the favor by dispatching our own forces to Eorzea. If you would have us. We harbored no expectations of such generous aid. And as there is no telling when the Empire might strike back at you, would it not be wiser to concentrate your resources on the defense of Doma? I had a mind to pursue a more aggressive defense. To wit, we will send forth Shinobi to provinces far and wide to spread word of our victory, that we might inspire others to take up arms as we did. Even the Empire has its limits. If the Garleans cannot be certain where and when the next rebellion will take place, how can they commit another force to Doma? Smart. And besides, so long as this debt remains unpaid, how am I to face myself? And Gorsetsu. As you wish, I will relay your offer to the Eorzean Alliance. Gemini, good to see you, glad to have you. All of Doma is counting on you to finish what we have started. You have it in you, Lise, to seize the future you want. Never forget. I won't, Hien. Not your words or anything else. Everything that led us here, that will drive us forward, I'll carry it with me always. And that's a promise. Lise, other than that one <laughs> scene you had with Hien, you said like four things I all of Doma. To that. Go with them to Eorzea. Tell their people of our triumph and of our pledge to stand with them. By your leave, I shall pave the way for our new alliance. Hurry up, you lot! The ship's about to weigh anchor! It seems our time is at an end. Go well, my friends. And may we meet again beneath a western sky. Speaking of going home, swapping the listening only for my commute. Sounds good, Tim. Uh, I'm already writing the Rosencrantz and Guildenstern style fic about the two Imperial soldiers. Good, good, good. Phase passing cleanse the world. Kingdom Hearts is a fractions and decimals in their sequel numbers not system. Nothing has ever made sense. Chain original chain memories of GBA game. Yep, I played the GBA game as well as Rechain of Memories. Good heads, when you finish that, please DM me a link. I want to read it. Yep. Have you guys played Neo games? Yeah, I reference that. Enjoy the boat ride back, nerds. I'm calling for a live stream taxi. <laughs> I love uh, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead. Yep. Would Hingans and Domans mistake voice in for yokai, or would it be, or would it be accurate? Just voice in under a different name and all that. Um. Based on the nature of some of the other things that we would demonstrate as yokai, I wouldn't necessarily. We, 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 that's a good question, AC. We'll talk about it in a sec. That's a good question. I always knew that woman was unfit for command. Aye, when you think of all the resources we poured into that hole and for what?
beast yet lives. Mayhap it is time I sharpen my claws. I wonder, would you walk into my parlor once more? For Dolorem Lupus, come at the command of the Lord Viceroy to present the prisoner taken by the Cranier Lupi. I forgot, was there any setup for Kral being captured? I'm. Xenosier Galvus, I presume. It's true what they say. You do have the eyes of a monster. A ravenous, insatiable fiend. You, give the butcher your weapon. My, yes, my lord. My lord, this is... A reward given in recognition of your service. I trust it will prove more capable than its former owner. I... I swear, I'll not disappoint you, my lord. Good. Now. Silence that mewling little piglet. I would not hear another sound pass her lips until I strip the fat from her. Yikes. Also, calling a Lollafell a piglet is um, a choice. Okay. Uh, Lord of Doma flees country more out. Mere hours after liberation. I just want to say thank you for pushing me a level of craft of gathers. Yeah, awesome! I got to start with the Omicron quest. It's really great. Sweet! Omicron. I'm so glad that you're leveling them, oh, Gemini. Yeah, don't forget about leaves. It's a great way to level them, and I hope you continue to enjoy the process. It's a good old time. Uh, and don't forget that you'll have the crafter's quest with the Loperates up next. So that's a, that's a, that's a, that's technically, that's like, what, six months away at this point? But, but that is what will happen. So. Actually, it might be closer to eight. Uh, when you walk, when you walk away, you don't hear, he didn't say, please, oh hero, don't go. Simple and clean is the way that you're making me feel tonight. It's hard to let it go. Are you sure that's Yen or Amerik we're talking to? The best defense is distribute offense against a shared enemy, but that was rude. At least it was quick, too fast to react or feel pain. I will say, one of the things that frustrates me, well, nope, can't talk about that. We have to get to the end first, but l let's just say there's an end season at the end, uh, season, a scene at the end of Stormblood that the lack of gore very much frustrates me because it just is weird. Back in Eorzea, at least, ready to pick up where we left off and finish the fight. We're not who we were when we left. We're stronger and wiser. So let's do it. Let's go back to Alamigo and defeat Xenos once and for all. Here we are as ho- Oh, crap. I keep having to switch between fast and slow for cutscenes. Here we are, home at last. I must say, the journey passed more quickly than I had expected. That would be due to the absence of otherworldly interference, interference, I expect. I should be glad if we did not speak of that unpleasantness again. <clears throat> but in spite of all that, and more, we return better for the experience, and more importantly, triumphant. Indeed, but with Doma freed of imperial oppression, it is only right that we turn our thoughts to the plight of Alamigo. Well, I, for one, uh, I'm all for that, obviously, but I think you should go and see the refugees at Revenant's Toll before doing anything else. They'll be thrilled to hear what we've accomplished, and it sounds, it sounds best coming from you. Thank you. I shall do as you suggest. Hey, Merwin. I see that I am not too late. I forget what I did from Roland. Admiral, what are you doing here? The East Aldenard Trading Company informed me of your impending arrival. I have tidings I thought best to share with you in person. 
From Girapanya? Aye, the Alliance still holds the wall despite several Imperial counterattacks, but we've been unable to press further into an occupied territory. Commander Kemp and his men, meanwhile, have made great strides towards rebuilding their depleted ranks. They have even taken it upon themselves to attempt some few operations, with mixed results. Okay, so to that question we were talking about earlier about why they weren't at least trying or pushing, it's expressly that they have been, but, you know, haven't had the momentum. I'm sorry to say. T'was a complication arising from such ventures which moved me to seek you out. During a mission, it transported a wounded resistance fighter to the Rising Stones. Kryle Baldessian was taken prisoner. Kryle, do they know where she's being held? They do not, but in comrades were informed at once, and I'm told Thancred is in Garibania, looking for her as we speak. How could this happen? We must seek out Thancred, immediate, without delay. Nay, Kryle taught me better than that. It would be unwise to act without first acquiring a full understanding of the situation. Thank you for informing us. Tired though we may be, we must take make haste to a cast from Oriens. Pray, excuse us. Admiral Lady. Admiral. Lady Ugiri. Lady Jade! Good to see you, glad to have you. Not set up at all. Yeah, not really. I forgot about that. Yeah. I mean, like, they, they kind of hearken onto here because they're going to have you meet Merle Wib and then have it delivered there. So, like, honestly, it feels like those scenes were played and originally meant in a different order or something. I mean, not. I guess it still works. Flip flopped. It just. It's. It's out of nowhere. Lolly, good morning. Ho! I'm always a bit curious. Garly and Gunblades work for people who can can use Aether. Yeah. Why wouldn't they be? I mean, they're just explosive devices. Just because you have Aether control doesn't mean you can't use a gun. Right? Like, there's no. You know, just if if a thing doesn't require Aether, so it doesn't require magic. If you can use magic, you can definitely use it still. Um, something about that line just disturbed me on a visceral level. Which line? The piggy line, bit of jelly bean? Imagine giving Xenos a poo voice when he says the whole line with piglet. Ho ho! I don't even know what. Ho ho! That was more like, like, um. Mickey Mouse. Oh bother. I, I don't. Apparently I can't do a good poo. Uh, but that, that'd be tempting to switch Xenos over to a poo voice. If you want gore, Xenos could have always bisected that dude like Robonda to Leji, but who would clean up that mess? But my point about gore is more like there's no blood, there's no... So, like, he slashes him in the middle, like, the guy does not get bisected, you know, and there's no, like, blood splatter or anything. And so, like, that's one thing, but especially with a later scene at the end of Stormblood, if you know what I'm talking about, and a certain character doing a certain thing to a certain part of their body, like, it's... If it, if it was, like, cut... It didn't show that part of the body, that's fine, to at least not show it, but to show the place that should be cut, and it's not cut, and there's no blood, and there's no, like... It's weird. It's like everything's pantomiming. I'm sorry, Elio. It's my fault. Yeah, the piggy line. Yeah. Sephiroth... Xenos for Sephiroth? Depends which Sephiroth at which point in his journey, and which Xenos at which point in his journey, and under what auspice. Um... I, yeah, it really depends on it. There's a lot of context there. There you are. You've heard of the news. In broad strokes with Admiral Blufusfin, what happened? Kryle and the squadron of resistance fighters were escorting Yishtola and several other wounded to the Rising Stones for further treatment when they were ambushed by Imperial forces. Arnvald and his men fought valiantly, but in the chaos. I will make no excuses. We failed to protect her. Do not be so hard on yourself. You protected Yishtola and the others, did you not? Tell us about the attack. It was with the skulls. They knew a path across the wall. We hadn't found. We thought we were safe once we reached the Black Shroud, and we weren't expecting an ambush. During the fight, I caught a glimpse of their leaders. Memories. A leader's memories. It was all planned. The advantage of having a walker in the field. I'm not as strong in the Echo as Elio is, of course. Half the time, it's enough to knock me on my arse, like I've taken a dose of concentrated aether. So you walked in Fordola's memories. What did you see? A woman promised the world. Education, training, citizenship, all that and more if she but sold her soul. A traitor to her people and a pretender to her master. If it was Xenos himself that gave the order, told her to return with Kryle Baldessian, alive. Our agents have been carefully monitoring Imperial communications since the attack, but have yet to intercept any transmissions, making reference to Kryle on her, or her current whereabouts. If their orders were br to bring Kryle back alive, we can save her if we move quickly enough. As you say, time is of the essence, which is why I intend to slip past enemy lines and see what information I can uncover on my own. In the meantime, it's up to you and our allies to command the Imperials' undivided attention. Lots of shouting and explosions and so forth. Keep them distracted and I will find her. 
Very well. I wish I could do more to aid you, but I understand. Commander Kemp is on his way to the Castrum as we speak for a meeting with General Aldine. If you hurry, you could find him on the road and discuss the situation beforehand. I think Elio and I are going to go and see Conrad, like he suggested. You all wait here. Or an even later scene where blood is actually splattered across a thing, meaning they can do it. Yeah, so is that, if you're talking about a different expansion, or if you're talking about the, 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 oh, no, 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 and 4.3, I think is what you're talking about. Yeah, um, I think the problem is that showing flesh and gore is very different than showing blood on the floor. You also, it's interesting, because Shadowbringers has certain things that, where you see more, of, like, it seems like they got to push the boundary a little bit more as they went along. Too close to call, yeah. Gonna keep that T rating, I guess. Yeah, Elias, I'm 99% I'm sure it's not even, it was never, not even a technical thing, it was purely a, a ratings thing. What's interesting is when they start to push that boundary later, and my point is more, okay, you need to keep the T rating, right? So just make sure that the camera does not show below the region, right? So like, don't show the region that should have a massive gaping hole or massive gaping cut or whatever. Just let, let the person's imagination dictate that. But if you show it, it looks weird. You know, if it shows it and there's nothing there. Well, well, if it isn't a pleasant surprise, let's fill it, uh, it fills my heart to see you two, uh, hale and healthy. Welcome home, Lise. Elio, I'm sure you heard about it, Kryle, by now. That's why we're here. I'm still not sure what to think about it, but we'll save her. We'll definitely save her somehow. I have no doubt of that you will. You look stronger for your time in the Far East, lass, and that's good news for Kryle. I'd like to think so, but enough about me. How is everyone, everything with you and the Resistance? Better than when we last saw us, and no mistake, Arnval has been a godsend. Him and Minago and all the other young bloods have achieved so much in such a short time. You've been blessed to receive, uh, we've been blessed to receive the support of the Flames, Alamegan Brigade, uh, Flames Alamegan Brigade, who have been instrumental in freeing our countrymen from labor camps throughout Garabanya, as well as some political prisoners from the city proper, believe it or not. Together with the refugees returning from Ulda and elsewhere, we had no shortage of able-bodied men and women eager to join the cause. I knew you wouldn't stop fighting even after what happened at the Reach. Force a habit, I suppose. Though we've come a long way, we still have far to go, but we'll fight for every ilm, and sooner or later we'll get to Alamigo. But listen, to me prattling on when we should be making haste to Castrum Orions, there's no point uh, there's no point you telling me everything now when you only have to say it all again for the flame's general benefit. You're right. I'll go on ahead and tell the others that you're not far off. There's really no reason they couldn't have just had that be a cutscene of him arriving. Like, it's, it's weird that they make us come all the way out here. I mean, like, I appreciate giving a sense of, like, oh, they're not quite here, but it seems kind of purposeless. Um, I think the order of operations for showing Kral's capture is right. We're shown the scene as players. Then when the characters are informed, the narrative can be straight through. Yeah, but it... So... So... But it's not playing with, like, dramatic irony or anything. Is the thing is just all of a sudden Kral's in his, his arms. And so, like, we learn. We know ahead of time. And then they, then the characters learn. But, like, it, it doesn't... My point is not that, Tam, like, that's not necessarily pragmatic in terms of, like, oh, you know, we learn and then it's going to carry on straight through the characters. But, like, it, it, it doesn't... At least for me, it doesn't vibe well like it doesn't work like it doesn't structurally fit well it's just all of a sudden like well and cryo's captured in here and it's like okay uh could we, could we have seen a flash of the ambush with arnvald or something um earlier on or you know some kind of setup and or at the very least you know uh yeah it just feels it felt off to me I was referring to end thing, but yes, yeah. Uh, so about the void zone being similar to Yokai. Yeah, we'll touch on that. I made it in time for stream. Rachel, good to see you, glad to have you. I'm glad FF16 is going to be bloody if the trailers are to be bloody. I mean, it's M and it's, yeah, it's, that game's going to be mature and bloody for sure. Um, so about the void zone being similar to Yokai. So the thing about Yokai, right, is that they're monsters of all kinds. And the thing is that Yokai is a very broad group of something. So for instance, could primals be considered kami by someone who doesn't know better? Are the auspice kami, you know, like... Kami is such a wide-ranging and branching thing, for instance, and yokai is very similar, that Void Sent absolutely could be called a type of yokai and just be misunderstood as that without necessarily a fundamental understanding of, like, what a Void Sent is. So, so if, I hope that answers it. I'll have to wait extra year for a PC version. Aw. Well, I still need to get a PS5 too, Tracy, so I, I feel you. I've been trying to get one for all year with no luck. So, like... 
the thing is that like kami yokai and like things are such like a like soft category in general that i would say that yeah that you could actually see a void scent thrown under it without a understanding of its thing but like if someone knew the the like fundamental metaphysical truth of a, a void scent would that still would it still be a yokai well it's like is yokai more of a mythological designation or like an a um a uh, taxonomical categorization tool because it's not really a science you know you've spoken with thanker then good take heart if anyone can track her down it's him i believe i hear commander kemp's party approaching if you're ready to dress father and the others let us be about it and uh, don't forget 16 also gonna have body parts hacked off and flying yeah 16 gonna be a, a, a good time and it's gonna be a very mature time uh, sex, drugs, and hacking limbs. There you are, and th where? Uh, and there is Commander Camp. I see. I know you are eager to speak of our next move, but we would first hear more of your last. Tell us of your deeds in Doma. Oh, monk time. Yes, I'll switch off r the second we leave Castrum. Thank you, Tracy. Pray, join me in welcoming our Scion allies, but recently returned from their mission to the Far East. We have been most eager to hear a first-hand account of your time there, eventful as we understand it was. Very well. Allow me. Such victories are rarely won without sacrifice, but the prize is worth the price. Doma, free after all these years. Bloody hells. Flooding their own castle for a better chance of victory. My uh, roommate came in and kicked the router box. And so reset the entire router. Let me know when you guys can see me again. In the meantime, I'm going to reach out. Of course, stream freezes. Yeah, sorry, Rachel. Uh, I'm not frozen, but buffering. Yeah, I have simultaneously bad internet, and also if anyone in my household fucks with a router whatsoever, it just, like, breaks everything. Um, thinking about it, maybe the Kral scene being there isn't as, as much to serve the narrative as just to be a reset and reminder of the greater scope. I mean, that's the problem, though, is that you get... That's the problem is that if you... You all of a sudden have Xenos doing this thing around the Resonant without any setup or precedent for it out of really anywhere. And so that's only in the 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 final fourth of, of Stormblood. And so it's just like all of a sudden we're shifting into this. And it's like, it, it, it's, it's instead of the, the two narratives building on top of each other, instead of like establishing early on that Xenos needs more power or wants more power or wants magic or, you know, and, and wants access to these things that aren't, that he doesn't have access to, all the, you know, he just, you know, he, he, uh, okay. Oh, thanks to everyone for hanging around. Let's, let's see. Carousel Doom, Explosion, that explains it. Well, Gobby's got the mod modem again. Oh, no, oh, no, that's internet. Yes, yeah, in the Alexander Task Force. Today's great, go, going great. I first can't figure out how much the math, and now this. Sorry, Rachel. Math is for nerds anyways. Math isn't real. Math can't hurt you. Uh, the boss of Ritter on a Lighthouse begs to differ, Tam. I hate math. Who needs math? I like math. I'm not, I, well, I like everything up to Algebra. Math moves my thing. Sorry, your day hasn't been great, Rachel. Yeah, Rachel, I'm sorry you're having a rough time. Let us know if any of us can, you know, if people in the chat or I can help you. Welcome back. Thank you. Yay, I used to be good at math, but then they, they added letters. Honestly, algebra I'm okay with. It, it's beyond that, like, calculus and stuff that I struggle with. That's unfortunate, at least it's working now. Yeah, because of maintenance, always working. Anyone want a free cat? Mine keeps trying to eat my fake Christmas tree. <laughs> That's cats for you. Hey, guys. Yeah. So, yeah, my thing with Kral... The problem is not... I don't think, like, the resonance is bad. I don't think any of the things within Stormblood are bad. 
I don't think they build enough on them. I think they like start and stop their momentum for each one in weird places. They don't build up enough of, um, they don't build up enough of, um, lease. <clears throat> In the back fourth, they introduce the resonant and everything to do with that, which is, they do a lot for that in that back fourth, but they need to make that more of an element in some way throughout. It just really isn't. Like, we don't meet Outlist earlier, we don't, there really just isn't any elements to make it, like, to, to make it feel like, it feels like there are certain elements of Stormblood that were made up for Stormblood two-thirds into production of Stormblood. Or, and things like that. Like, it just, it, 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 it's not that Stormblood's bad. I think Stormblood's just way less concise and me and is messier and it, than in comparison to, to um, especially the more, like, fine, limited scope of specifically fantasy adventure of Heaven's Word. And then Shadowbringers has a very specific narrative direction its primary narrative is going and uses every map to... In, to give you time with a character and then give those each and every one of those characters other moments throughout the entire story. So it is rooted in the primary intrigue of the world and that and that like momentum of that single mystery and salt solution and the, your party of friends and characters. And those are kept and, and and both of those are given due time and and interwoven together so that they build up on top of each other. Stormblood doesn't succeed at doing that. Um in every, it doesn't succeed doing that in multiple parts of it, you know. Um, like when you have moments like Gosetsu in the Nam, when you have Hien and Lee in in the the step, uh, when you have like when you have a lot of those moments that we had in the step, it shows that it can work. It shows that the problem is is much more in the execution than any like, yeah, yeah. I think playing Stormblood has. I think I still would defend Stormblood a lot. If anyone said Stormblood was bad, I think I'd very much disagree. Especially because the first time going through, there's a lot more. It's a lot more intriguing. But I do think that I'm more sympathetic to people who criticize Stormblood. But at the same time, I'm also less sympathetic to like dismissing it. I'm even less because because I think there's very specific struggles that can be articulated without being like, oh, and it's bad because of these. Like, no, it's just more of a mess. But also, the further expansions and, and the patch content get to take that messier story and build on it anyways. Um, and and put, take advantage of it, you know? Uh, I was waiting for someone to mention MathBot. Yeah. Calc was not fun, but okay. But Quantum Mechanics was a nightmare with Greek letters. Yeah. See, I never... I don't know. Theoretical quant like quantum physics was... I don't know. For some reason, that is easier for my brain to get around. Uh, no, I get you there. Yeah, to me, Stormblood lacks the emotional clout of the other expansions. I think Stormblood, if you one-to-one -one compare it to Heaven's Word, is actually, like, just 3.0 to 4.0 is pretty comparable for me because of certain moments. I think Heaven's Word's probably stronger. I mean, I think, no, just to me, no questions, Shadowbringers. I think, yeah, Heaven's Word is probably the weakest, other than ARR, right? Um... Because Heaven's Word has, you have Ysail, and you have, um, and you have, um, oh my god, Hor Horsefont. Um, and some really good moments. I will say that I think that there are a lot of emotions in Stormblood that I think are good, like moments like the Nama, moments like Hien. I think there's a lot of choir moments, but yeah, I think that, I think that's, I, I would... I mean, because we only talk about how it emotionally hits each of us, right? So, like, trying to be, like, objective about emotionally hitting is, is kind of nonsense. But I would say, yeah, I can see that. Um, I just also... I think the point X's hit about the same for me. Because I think the emotions for 4.3 hit me as hard as the emotions for 3.3. Kathra, good to you. Glad to have you. Let's get that back in that cutscene. It's interesting. It's very interesting. I wonder if it's going to make me enjoy Endwalker and Shadowbringers all the more, too. Pray, join me in welcoming our Scion allies, but recently returned from their mission to the Far East. We have been most eager to hear a first-hand account of your time there, eventful as we understand it was. Very well. Allow me.
Such victories are rarely won without sacrifice, but the prize is worth the price. Doma, free after all these years. Bloody hells. Flooding their own castle for a better chance of victory. We could learn a thing or two from that land. Our agents report a flurry of communications between Garlemald and Alamigo in recent days. It is plain they are in the midst of deliberating their response to the Doman uprising. Good. Every Imperial unit in occupied territory will be on the lookout for civil unrest. The fear of leaving critical locations undefended will make commanders think twice about committing their forces, giving us a chance to seize the initiative. Yeah, that's Silver. I'd love to hear why. We have a chance, aye. Mayhap the last one we're ever going to get. While we've done our best to rebuild the resistance, the Imperials have only increased their efforts to root out sympathizers. If we keep on playing for smaller prizes, it's only a matter of time before they crush us again. And that we won't come back from. I also think the highs might... seems best yeah. for all concerned. Not least, poor Mistress Kryle. Then let us waste no more time. The campaign for Alamegan liberation begins now. Our first objective will be to capture Castellum Valadina. Take the bridge, and the whole of the fringes will be ours. From there, we can push east towards the peaks. I name this operation Ralga's Beacon. For as Ralga once sent his star to guide our ancestors totally agree, to Catherine. these lands, so too shall it see us home. The importance of the world state changes for Stormblood cannot be. What I'm talking about is purely as an experiential narrative in terms of like the world and the level to which the importance of what this sets up for going forward as well as its time. I think you can't undervalue Stormblood and I think you really shouldn't because Ishgard is really localized to a specific region of Eorzea, whereas this affects the world state of everything. Oh, fuck. Um... The success of operations is paramount. So long as the Empire holds Castel Castellum Veladina, the main host cannot advance. Xenos knows this, which is why he is full ordered for Dola and her men to see the bridge's defense. So we'll get to the fight the Skulls again. The Butcher is not to be under underestimated. She is decisive, ruthless, and feared by foes and friends alike. We have a plan to defeat her. First, we send an alliance force down the main road, signaling our intention to mount an all-out assault. The garrison will muster their forces and prepare for a protracted battle. However, they will soon find that we are ill-prepared for their counterattack. Our men will begin to break ranks and flee. I see. So, show them your backs and give them a target to attempting not to pursue. Aye, for Dole is too aggressive not to press the advantage. She will order her men to give chase. We lure them as far as East End, where the commanders will rally their forces and attempt to hold their ground. If all goes to plan, we should be able to keep the greater part of their garrison occupied. Leaving us to tackle the bridge remaining defenders. Very clever. I'm sure, but what are we going to do if the Imperials smell a rat and return before we're taken into the place? I don't need you to take Veladina, Commander Kemp. All I need is for you to fly your flag from its tower. You mean to trick them into believing that the bridge has fallen? Aye, we convince them that Veladina is lost and hit them hard with our reinforcements and watch them go running for the hills. Then, when the dust has settled, we regroup at the Castellum. What say you? It's a bold plan, but a good one. We'll do it. In that case, we should support both the Resistance and the Alliance forces. Elio, Lise, Arnvald, I ask that you accompany Commander Kemp. Alice and I will remain with the Flame General. Notice that they remove the twins from the scenario every time they want to try and do something with Lise. We will return to Ralgar's Reach and make our preparations. As soon as they are complete, we'll join you in the field. Godspeed. Uh, good evening. Um, I missed something if the title is anything to go by. No, we haven't got there yet. We have not gotten there yet, Cathera. Not the gut punches of others, yeah. 
Uh, I think it has them and it just fails around a bit more. Yeah. Well, Heaven's Warp is good. I think overall I still enjoyed it. So, uh, Heaven's Warp is a time of personal growth. Yeah, yeah. I enjoyed the exploration more and I like the political conflict more as also the base patch of end for Heaven's Word without all the Dragon Song is a little odd. Base patch for the... Uh, also the base patch end for... Oh, I see what you're saying. The 3.0 patch for Endwalker. Yes. Or for Heaven's Word ends on a cliffhanger, right? Like, that's the thing is that Dragon's... The, the, the part of the thing about Heaven's Word is it really relies on its on 3.1 through 3.3 to tell its whole story. Whereas, like, 4.1 through 4.3 do feel like a continuation of the fallout of these events, but they do feel like they have a definitive end. Yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah, I'd like Stormblood more than Heaven's Word just because the Heaven's Word was a revolution story. Stormblood was a revolution story with a greater widespread effect. Yeah, I think that's absolutely fair. I, I, I think... I think on that metric, right, that's so much with taste that, like, that I would never try to argue. I think when I when I try to compare and contrast Heaven's Word and Stormblood, the only thing I can meaningfully look to is their construction as narratives um, and, and their structure and their execution in certain character beats. Um, and that's where I see some of people's umbrage. I mean, and also some people just like the, like, more high fantasy dragon-y story with Heaven's Word, like we've talked about. And that doesn't do a ton for me. Like, it, it does as much for me as you know, other fantasy stuff, but it's not like a specific one I like. It's kind of just like, here's your classic, like, high fantasy JRPG fair. Um, in case you haven't noticed, the flag flying above Valadina is bloody massive. It'd take a dozen men to change it, and far too long besides. But there's no need for all that, right, Minago? Not so long as I have a griffin and a satchel of glamour prisms, no. Arnvald, you're in charge of the runners between us and the Alliance. No link pearls. Lise, I want you to look in on the squadrons, make sure they've got everything they need. Everybody clear? Aye, sir. All forces are to depart the Castrum Corvi when ready. That will all be all, Elio. Uh, Elio, stay with me for uh, with a moment, would you? Monk, thank you, Tracy. There are a few men I'd like you to look in on personally. Each of them has lost people, and I can tell the, uh, that weighs on their hearts. I keep forgetting stuff. There have been lots of new faces since last you were here, so it's best if I just tell you where to look. One's an officer you'll find in the barber. Uh, in the barber. Another is an old fellow who looked to pass the time on the shore of the Starfall. The last is a fiery young lad from Little Alamigo, who I'm told trains by himself in the rivers of the fringes. You know them when you see them. Come and find me when you're finished. And I need to apply. I also may need to grab armor at some point, unless, actually, recommended gear. Um. Also, with the church being used in Heaven's Word as interesting as a direct antagonist, Thord in the Knights on an individual level, I don't find any stand strong alone as antagonist. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm with you, Kogaku. I think it's, I think people really, like, I don't think Thoradin is even that interesting. I think the only thing that Thoradin has going for him that's interesting is that you don't know if he's on your side or not until, like, like he seems like, okay, he's against the Asians. Is he with us? Is he get like, what's up with him? But, like, yeah, the Knights 12 really don't get personalized. The most that you can argue they get really personalized in any meaningful sense is really, like, in the, the, with, like, Tataru and Alfino thing. But even then, not really. And I, I'm totally with you on that. Um, they're really more chess pieces than they are characters for a lot of, for a lot of it. Whereas this, you get Fordola, Yotsuyu, and Zeno. So it's like, these are your antagonists, you know? I like Stormblood more than Heaven's Word because Heaven's Word was set in the cold and I did it in February while Stormblood was fancy in Japan and I'm a weeb. Yeah, I mean, like, that's the other thing. If you like Japanese aesthetic, it's going to hit you a lot. It's going to do a lot more for you. Monk, thank you, Tracy. Lise comes into her own in Stormblood. She stops being the airhead she was when she was in the Poplima NAR. Yeah, my problem, Cathra, for, for, is that... I don't think she... I think they don't land her development into coming into her own. I'm with you. And I think if you're good enough with, with where she's at as a character, I think it works fine when you get to this back half. But I'm struck by how much they fail to try and characterize her and give characterization beats to other characters all throughout, especially the first third of Stormblood. Especially because she's a new character and she's a fresh character for us, effectively. Um, starting in 3.5 and 3.55, really. Um... And so, yeah. Oh, I'm totally there on the fact that Heaven's Word felt more generic fantasy and Stormblood had more worldly feeling grounded. Yeah. Okay, I'll leave soon. Have a good night. I'll try to remember to join Discord. Sounds good. Either way, I, mean, I hope you have a better day. I hope you have a good day, man. Um, yeah, don't feel pressured or forced. Just know that it's there if you want to if you want to hang out with people. And you don't have to use voice or anything. You can you can just text talk with people. Like, a lot of people don't use voice or anything. Um, 
just one moment. Everything's okay. No woo 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 woo. Everything's okay. Okay? No woo 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 woo. I say, if it isn't the lad who helped me find the ward I misplaced. Ah, uh, but there I go again, treating you as an equal. It wasn't until after you'd gone that one of my commanders pulled me aside and told me it was only the bleeding hero of Eorzea who taken time out of his busy day to help me. Well, what is done is done, but I know that I will fight with every ounce of my strength in this coming battle. And the next, and the next. Mayhap that will serve to repay the favor. Fare you well. Can you go outside? But yeah, Deadpool was a woo woo wooing. He, uh, for some reason, about a two year or two ago, he just started barking when people were at the door. He never did it before. I guess he just started getting older. He's eight years old now. He's still very cute, still acts like a pup, but every so often he has these weird, like, senile things that are starting to creep in. I don't think I have the words to probably explain my feelings on Stormblood. Well, you want to talk about it? Try to process it with us? Maybe we can, like, dissect and delineate and figure it out? Wait, I know you. Private Fortran of the Maelstrom. It's an honor to meet you. I was living hand to mouth in Ulda, but decided to enlist in the flames after I heard tales of your daring do. And now, as fate would have it, I've been sent here to join the fight for my homeland's liberation. Ah, but it's no time to talk. I gotta prepare for the operation. Take care, Private. We'll get those Imperial horse sons what for. Like, this is, this is a thing, like, Endwalker does, too. And it's Shadowbringers to an extent. But it's, like, it's trying to give you the time to, like, personalize these people and give you a connection with them. And, like, by talking to them, it's like, oh, that's that guy you helped earlier, right? It, it makes you feel, it makes you feel a part of the world. And I think that's a good idea. I think Stormblood doesn't always nail it. Because it... It's not like, oh, could we hurry back and get back to the thing? Because in theory, I like everything that it's doing. But it doesn't always hit for me. Um, but I, I want it to do what it's doing. But, like, it, it just always puts them in sometimes weird places where... Or not even weird places, but just places where it doesn't end up being more distracting than anything. It's like, the, 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 four, the, you know, the energy is there to go back, to go into the battle, and now we're pausing here. Whereas instead, if we could pause here, then get the plan for going to the battle, like, or, like, something, I don't know, it's, it's, the cadence can sometimes be a little off. Or at least maybe if there were some, like, more voice, I think more voice cutscenes would help, too. I mean, that, I think that's why one of the reasons Shadowbringers and Endwalker also benefits from, it's just, like, more voice time makes times that aren't voiced somewhat, in some ways more annoying, but in other ways less annoying because there's less of them. Elio, am I right? I doubt you remember me, but I'll never forget you. You saved my life in Little Alamigo, you did. Wilbrin and the rest of us had gotten our heads that we had enough of the crystals. We could summon Ralgar like the Amals just summoned their gods. Thankfully, you put a stop to it. Ever heard about what happened to Wilbrid? Joined the Braves when they came calling, only to turn up dead one day. Never found out how or why, but I reckon it doesn't matter. Dead's dead, after all. But at least he died doing what he thought was right. And maybe that's the best folk like us can hope for, eh? Not that I'm in any hurry, mind. Elder Puppy, yes. He's a very good boy. Devil's a very good boy. Last night a friend of mine was saying that everything Nier is featured in is, is in is canon in Nier. So does that mean Nier takes place in the first, or is my friend mistaken? Sorry, weird question. No, Gemini, that's a really great question. Um, so, no. So, Yoko Taro's whole thing with Nier, even since Dra the first Drakengard. So, Nier's universe is the Nier universe and the Drakengard universe. It's, it's, 
it's wild and out there and crazy. And there's always like there's since the very first game, there's been like a multi-dimensional na like nature to it. So it's not that it near takes place in the same universe as the first. It's more that within the confines, if we look at Nier's cosmology, again, ignore Final Fantasy's co cosmology, um, this is just one of many parallel possible worlds and branches of the many things that, that and, and, and possible universes that is within the Nier cosmology. If anything, you'd more really argue that Final Fantasy XIV exists within the Nier cosmology than Nier exists within the Final Fantasy XIV cosmology based on the limitations of each. But then again, like also, the interdimensional rift is said to be an infinite well, well of chaos of infinite possibilities and so like both kind of i guess apparently exist within each other's cosmology now kind of ish but yeah uh if you look at the alliance raid it basically is a continuation of ending e of near effectively um and it's, it's a continuation of both near and dragon guard uh, or at least the legacy of dragon guard yeah it's a crossover Gemini. yeah all the worlds i have i suppose are either too positive or too negative well i mean we could just I mean, well, why don't we just, I mean, hell, why don't we just talk about it and then, like, try, I mean, if you want, we could be like, well, here, you know, like, the only language you have is I fucking hate it or I fucking love it. Why don't we, like, sit down and, like, you know, talk about it as we go? Like, okay, you know, it's not that I fucking hate it. It's, like, I dislike this for this reason or stuff. Like, we could, I'd be, I'd be happy to help with that. Okay, that makes sense, kind of, yeah. Yoko Taro, you give me money? Sure, this will work with near lore, basically. Like, Yoko Taro, the thing is, is that Yoko Taro is a mad lad, and so don't worry about it. Effectively, Gemini, what I would say is... When it comes to Final Fantasy XIV, really, 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 I would just say, don't worry about it. Don't worry about how to make sense. Don't worry about it. You can kind of hand wave it with some easy stuff, but with some stuff, but it's it 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 gets weird if you worry about it. Um, and it's so siphoned off, siloed off that it's like it's fine to not worry about it. In terms of near, it's like pretty par for the course for near. Maybe wonky. Yeah, I mean wonky, like you know, like you know, um. It, uh, not undulating, but it's, like, uh, uneven. Uneven would be fair. For, for Stormblood, is maybe what you're thinking, Rachel? You've had a word with the men I mentioned, then. As I'm sure you noticed, there's another thing in common aside from tragedy. You touch each of their lives in one way or another. But that's not the reason I wanted to speak with them. A man who's lived in Garabania his entire life, who bore witness to the realities of the occupation for 20 unbroken years. A man who fled Alamigo in search for a new life, who swore to serve another nation, only for fate to conspire and send him back here. A youth born on foreign soil who never knew his parents' homeland, and nevertheless felt kinship with our cause. Three men, three stories, three reasons. Yet all belong to the resistance, and, grow and growing larger, we've grown more diverse. And while there's good in that, there's also the potential for strife and discord. A taken special sort to lead such a man to Alamigo, don't you think? Leader of the Resistance Day, I don't have that title. I don't I have enough titles already. Someone like Elise, you mean? Because she's all of those. I see we're of one mind. She'll make the decision for herself, of course. You've traveled with her, been by her side when she's had to make hard choices. You've seen her at her worst and at her best. If you think she's got it in her, then she does. See, like... This moment, this is actually a great moment. Like, actually, like, having us talk to those people, and it wasn't, it wasn't hitting me quite right, and then we got to this, this brought it together, okay, it hits right. The problem with this with Lise is that there's just not enough characterization moments with Lise. And it's not that she hasn't, it's not like this is completely unearned. It's not like it's, but it could be so much stronger. And we know it could be so much stronger because you see characters like Gosetsu, who are only interest to introduce as recently, effectively, as Lise, who get such strong characterization throughout Stormblood in the little bit that they're in there. So, like, sh it, it's... Yeah, it really is. It, 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 I, yeah. I mean, I need to make a video about my thoughts on Stormblood after this. She's our future, our hope. Pacing problem. I trust I needn't say that this conversation is just between you and me. Good lad. Right, then. We best head to cast from Corvi, or what remains of it, rather. Yoko Taro is the mass of lads, yeah. I think so. Yeah, I think I think it's fair to say that Stormblood is definitely the most uneven expansion. By far. And which makes sense, right? It's doing two fronts, it's doing two sides of the world. Like, of course, it's always gonna be like not even dichotomous, but like it, it, it was always gonna have its biggest risk was being uneven, and so it is. Um so it's, it's not shocking, right? It's it's much more ambitious than than uh, Heaven's Word. Because really, even though Dravania and Ishgard, you know, you know, Kurthis are, you know, technically, oh, it's two regions. It's like, well, but it's really one 
place and one region. And one region the size of effectively Girabania. I mean, if you look at the map, right? Like, it's... You're, you're not... I mean, like, yes, slightly bigger, but you're only really dealing within, like, these two spaces. You're not even dealing with... Because this is your fame and stuff. So, like, Kurthus is only in here. So you're only dealing with, like, the West Kurthus Highland and, like, and Ishgard proper. And then, like, Dravania, which is not that much bigger than Girabania as a whole. Yep. Pacing problems, fam. I gotta go to work. Thanks for stream. Always, Dez. I will always miss your your jokes when you when you head out. Have a good day. Uh, what's the fastest way to get there? Probably just go straight at this point. It's interesting. It's very interesting. It's, and I'll say it's very different the way I've been playing um, these games. Actually, I'm curious how you guys, how do you guys, most of you guys play an expansion? Because for me, when I first played Shadowbringers and Endwalker, I played them in like both like three days flat, effectively. Um, Stormblood I also played in like three days. Heavensward and Error I played much slower because I wasn't as into the game when I first started. Um... But so because like that, I int I experienced Stormblood as a really concentrated burst, whereas I experience it now playing with you guys like over the course of multiple weeks, like over the course of like a month or two, um, which I think actually hamstrings it more. Um, I think when I was playing one, when it was obviously new, so there's also new stuff too, but it's also, you know, uh, new and, and also like the pacing problems I think were less glaring because it was just all like, Go, 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 go. You know? Stormblood is a great story that stumbles in enough places that are essentially unforced errors. Yeah, I think that's I think it's a really good way to put it, Tim. That's I think that's a really great way to put it. And I don't mean it to bang on about it. It's mostly like I I, I appreciate a thing, not by like critiquing it necessarily below, but like articulating like, oh, why is it wor not working when it's not working? Why is it working when it is working? We'll lead the way while the other units launch their own separate attacks. Remember that we need to hold out until Monago sees the flag. Got your gear in order? Any, uh, let's get going any moment now. Um, do I have the gear? I do not have gear. I, mm, I'm gonna be, I'm low on gear. Uh, it'll be fine. We'll see. Not because I'm trying, but because I need to know. Mm-hmm. It's begun then. I'll definitely probably be playing 7.0 over Good. a three days span. It's the waiting that drives me mad. Standing around, knowing what's to come. I'll never get used to it. Calm down, so Margo. You're making her nervous. We've come this far, haven't we? We just need to make it the rest of the way. Right. Magdola? Fornago? Fornago. Looks like the bastards went for the bait. The bridge is ours for the taking. Now remember, Monago, I want you to make for the tower as soon as you see an opening and get that flag flying. We'll see to the fighting. I won't let you down, sir. Come then. Rolga's star shall burn bright this day. Tara asked for the MSQ, not because I'm trying, but because I need to know. Yeah, I feel you, Demins. Quickly now, we've got to reach Veladana before General Aldean and his men are overwhelmed. Scouts, stand ahead! If they see us, they'll warn the others. Not if we kill them first.
That's the last of them. Keep moving. Shouldn't it be? Yeah, it should be this way. No sign of sentries. General Aldine must have, must have his hands full. Then let's seize the bridge and be done with it. This is it, lads. Weapons. They left a token force behind. Nothing we can't handle. Fire at will! Kill every last one of these savages! Cannons! They could use those to fire on Nago! Well, don't tell them that you've got someone doing something. Take this! Who would win? An army of metal giants? Or one beatboxing, hip hopping, Elizin motherfucker? There's the last of these cannons. I should be safe for Nago now. One punchy boy. Think you're clever with, with those little tricks. Thanks again. None of you are leaving here alive. Kill the ginger! You may have survived the reach hero, but this time you won't be so lucky. The bridge belongs to the Empire. I'm not about to give it to you. Hero or not, you'll die like the rest of them. This is my bridge, and you're not taking it from me! To 
Honestly, it's funny. Like, Rattatan and, like, Livia and stuff are now harder than this. I mean, it's a good fight. It's not a bad one at all. Nago made it! We've only got to hold on a little longer! This is my bridge! It was made for me! No more hiding! Let's finish this! I'll admit, this is a pretty good emotional moment. Look! The flag! Why do they even ours. wear armor? Alamigo! 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 Yeah! Stand your ground! It's not over yet! She says as she flees. <laughs> Let them Good go, on you, Liz. Fordolo. We've done what we came here to do. That's enough for now. Y'all done goofed. The ball! He sees red, he charges. Yeah! That is a very large flag. Fallen? Impossible. We have them on the run. Forward. No mercy. Regroup. Regroup. We have to regroup. All units. Fall back. Let's go set his voice actor. Um, Deathberry, I think so. Let me remember which one, though. I swear to God, there's something else that is, um, similar Commander, to Deathberry, but it might, might be optional content. has been routed. We'll be at the mercy of the enemy's reinforcements if we don't fall back now. Idiot! We have the stronger force by far. Don't be taken in by their tricks. Or would you rather tell Zenos you lost to this rabble? Oh. A no, certain... But if the snakes betray us in the confusion, we'll have no way out. I'm begging you, Commander. Give the order, or we'll all die here. There's common traitors who drank of muddied waters. For all the good it did us. School's with me! The day is theirs, and so is this bastard bridge. Someone bring the snake. Um, a certain s map six of Shadowbringers is a glamour. I suppose. 
It's our first victory, isn't it? And that has to be worth something. There's also some other locations, too. An incredibly solid planet. No, no, no. Remember, the ruins themselves are physically there. The ruins themselves, but the, the appearance. That is stated um, specifically by the Crystal Exarch. Um, the... Uh, there are other locations too. I'm just thinking about places like, maybe not specifically, but things like, you know, Hell's Lid and some of the optional dungeons have stuff like that as well. I don't know about Island Sanctuary. Wait, yeah, what about Island Sanctuary? It's a shame for Dolly got a boy, but we did what we came here to do. I have to remind myself it's just the first step, but it's a big one if we're going to take it back, all of it. One ilma at a time if we have to. Uh, let me catch, I didn't, uh, yeah. Uh, Terrastrum, it's good to die. I'm playing through the game again because the first time through I just went hardcore on MSQ and missed a lot of trying to rush. Uh, yep, yep. Definitely worth doing, Gemini. I've never played current expansion at drop, so I can't really judge any of them that way. Silver Gogaku, I'll be very interested to see if you'd like rush through or not, because you you played a little bit languidly uh, going through them in the first place. Um, with you, Domins, yeah, me too. Playing through the expansion slowly just because work gets in the way. I would binge them if I could. I, oh, that sucks, Deathberry. Um, at least you have time to get through them. I just realized because she calls her Nago, does anyone refer to you Shola with a Y? No. Um, I, as far as I know, the only person that says Shola. Actually, Mitra might. Uh, I forget. I forget if you Mitra does. I I check it, and every time I forget which way if there's an example of her. Um, but yeah, no, you get Raha from like Kryl. You get. Uh, you don't really get Stola, but like that's also because like that's kind of like. It's not just a familiarity thing. It's also about like it's an implication to say it towards your feeling of familiarity or like ribbing them, and no one would like do that with you, Stola. One punchy boy. Yeah. Very big fag. Anyone want a cat for a little while? <laughs> I think the, uh, that map was, I thought it was something else, yeah. You can craft island glamour prisms to make your buildings look like different versions. Right! Yes, okay, that's what I say. Or set the paths to get to different styles. I forgot they were island glamour prisms, right. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sadly, I need my bed. Night, Tracy, have a good night. Haven't gotten to Island Sanctuary yet. Fortunately, still working on Endwalker. Yeah, you got this. You got this. It'll be a good time after. It'll be a good, it'll be a nice rest and relaxation after you get through the, uh, the heartache and upheaval and, and uh, chaos of Endwalker. There's still a chance that some Imperials are holding up inside the Castellum. We still need to search the top to bottom to be sure it's safe. In the meantime, I want you to rendezvous with the main host. Keep your weapons at the ready. There's a chance you might come face to face with soldiers on the run en route. On second thought, it might be prudent for you to do a preemptive sweep of the region for soldiers that have, got, uh, that have gone to the ground. We shouldn't afford them any time to regroup and launch a counterattack. When you've judged your work to be done, report to General Aldine and Bitterville. Fortune of War. We're almost to uh, the Lady's Bosom. So, Deathberry and others, if you guys are going to want, if you want to join for the trial, we've got seven open slots. We have a little bit of story to go through, but basically we'll get the Ananta stuff done out of the way, and then we're, we're going to be there. So if you guys want to be uh, held in some giant snake lady bosoms. I mean, I guess technically she's not a snake lady, but snake lady god bosom. Don't, don't come any closer. Shouldn't, shouldn't we just... I mean, I guess if he's attacking us first, then it's understandable. But I was gonna say, like, shouldn't we be like trying to like just, you know, prisoner of war that shit? You can do the island sanctuary stuff immediately after you turn in the 6.0 quest. Yes, the very dungeon also. Yes. And I actually recommend, like, taking some time after you finish 6.0 to, like, go do some side stuff. Like, do a bunch of side stuff first, because, like, it's supposed to feel like there's, like, a bit of time in between 6.0 and 6.1, and that's kind of important. Um, so I definitely say, yeah, go do, like, go do some side stuff after it. 
Yeah, looking forward to it afterwards, gonna need it. Yeah. Snake Lady God, not Snake Lady God. Snake Lady God, not Snake Lady God. Yeah. Yes, Des, exactly. <laughs> She's the Snake Lady's God, not a Snake Lady God. Oh god, what, 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 what is my interject on on? Oh right, I don't have interject, I'm a melee. I get too used to playing, I get too freaking used to playing uh, tank. Rest your weary head upon my bosom. I mean, if you're, look, Dest, if you're, you're, uh, if you're offering. Uh, gotta knock him out first. Hell yeah, I'm up for joining, still can't do whatever class is needed. So yeah, definitely. Definitely bring whatever job you want. I mean, we're ultimately going to need the two tanks and the two healers, but, I mean, people are welcome to bring whatever they want. Snake booba. Yeah. Yeah, you will, will are you about that snake booba life? Still shaky on healing, but can try. Yeah. I mean, hey, look, it's going to be, we're going to do just fine. We'll do just fine. I want to do variant, but need better eye level to do other stuff first. Um, well, so here's the thing about variant. Variant, just go buy the crafted gear from level 90, and then you're good. Uh, criteria. I just completed Criterion with 615 gear score. Or I didn't complete Criterion, but I completed like Silky. La I was doing Silky last night with 615 eye score. You like you. You don't need great armor to clear, especially Criterion, or especially Variant. And I wouldn't even recommend doing Criterion unless you like like doing like Savage and stuff because it's Criterion's hard. Well met. All well at the bridge. Good, good. The fighting has died down here, too, you can see. Pippin left but a moment ago with a contingent of troops to occupy Veladina. If and when the Imperials return, they'll find us dug in behind their walls. I could not have hoped for a better outcome, General. Splendidly done. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'll take more than one Castellum to turn the tide. My men and I will deal with the remaining enemy forces. Scions, I bid you return to Commander Camp and his men. Yawn! Good to see you. Glad to have you. Delight not overmuch in victory, not when there are battles left to fight. Our work here is finished. Our resistant allies are waiting. Yeah, I was on 610. You can just do it on craft as long as you've melds and patience. Yeah, totally. The main thing about doing Criterion is that, like, you can do it on lower gear score, but you get weakness if you get hit by uh, mechanics. So it's not even just, oh, you need to survive the fight. It, the enrages are pretty fast, so you need to not get hit by mechanics in the first place so that you're doing enough damage to clear. That was fun, by the way, last night, Jade, and uh, we were playing Jade, Alara, and V, I think was the group we were doing. Ass is hard. <laughs> God damn it, Dust. Go hard on that ass right back. God damn it, Tam. I'm 560 eye level right now, but since I still have the post Endwalker dungeon and start the Relic Quest, I didn't want to drop a bunch of gill on gear immediately. I mean, it's not that expensive. But, I mean, like, hey, yeah, do, do, do it however you want. I mean, honestly, Silver, if you ask, I'm sure one of the people in the guild would either, or in the F, in either the FC or the community would make you the armor for free. Back so soon. I suppose the General and his men had matters well in hand. The Vice Marshal and his men showed up not long after he left. If the gods are good, there will be no one left to fight. It really depends on your server. That's true, Tam. You're right. I know not if, uh... No, you're not one for waiting, but if you'll bear with us. Commander, Camp, Marshal Taupin reports the sweep of the Castellum interior has been completed. So it's finally over, eh? I extend to him my deepest thanks. It's official then. Castellum Veladina is well and truly ours. Mayhap this calls for... Wait, where's Monago? She took her beard and flew off towards the Piran Stones, the village of the M tribe where she was born. I doubt that the Imperials who fled Veladina had a mind to give them trouble on their way back east, but she was nevertheless worried, so I gave her leave to go and see that her people were safe. Though I pray you are right, it would be best if Monago were not alone if she should encounter the enemy. Agreed. Let's all go to the Peering Stones and make sure that everything is all right. 
If that is your wish, I then I have no objection. Just let the guard know when you wish to cross. So if you're willing to take a couple trips, you can check the whole region. Well, I mean, you can also just go just go on market board on on the website. Just you can look up uh, prices online. But yeah, a bunch of different, a bunch of us have crafters, and we would craft them. Fuck, man, I have, I got extra gill. I'll, I'll buy it for you if it makes your life easier. Greeting sounds. Do you wish to pass? I wish to pass as sexy elves man. If you're willing to go to primal, it's cheaper there. Yeah. What's the cause of that? Is there more people raiding or something? I never, I, I, I never have a really good sense outside of Crystal what the like dynamics of each uh, server tend to be like. It also probably might even depend on what your role gear is too. Yeah, specifically Lamia for some reason. Interesting. I wonder if there's just like a, a, a glut of crafters and like a dearth of raiders or something. Oh yeah, primal Walmart. <laughs> well, speaking of Lamia, hey, I mean that's that's appropriate. The Lamia are the descendants are the Anansa descend from the Lamia, so how appropriate. The path to the village is through a tunnel just east of here. Follow me. And if you don't know what a curl is, this is what a curl is. So when we're on Crystal Curl, this is what it is referencing. Most, all the names are creatures, right? Because it's, it's it's like Crystal, so the, the primary server thing is, is like a fundamental aspect of the world. So Primal, Crystal, Aether, Materia, Dynamis. Um, and then the, are all the server names creature names? What's Balmar? What the f what is Balmung? Balmung Final Fantasy. Oh, right, the sword. So okay, so some of it's weapons and not um not creatures, I guess. Is Hyperion a creature? I think Hyperion's a weapon. Now nah, there's a few that are people. Okay. Cause I know like Solera is that like summon summon from FF12 and stuff. Louis Swall on EU. Right, right, right. Good call, Jade. So it's people, creatures, or weapons. I honestly don't mind taking my time with it. If anything, it's making me take more time to just look at other content. Yeah. Good on you, Silver. Whatever. I, I, I uh, my only, the reason, like, I'm always trying to be up to deer with gear whenever I'm doing dungeons and stuff, especially, like, if I'm not doing stuff with T people, because when I'm doing stuff with T people, I do all sorts of things that I normally would uh, super not do, is, um, I don't want to slow people down at all, so I want, always want max gear score, but, you know, that's just me. Exodus. Oh, interesting, Tim. Ah, you've come. Welcome, friends, to my village. Don't any of my you say home. it. How fare your people? Good, all things considered. Better than the Ananta at any rate. They've sent an emissary. I'll take you to her. I knew it was going to be Destro Tam. We're here to help. Will you tell us what happened? Aye. It began with a quarrel between the Imperials and the Kaliana. The Kaliana are another Ananta tribe, the strongest and the most influential. Unlike the Vera, they want no part of our troubles. They swore fealty to the Empire and were content to remain within their borders. Just so, the Kaliana forsook their pride and the fight and yielded to Garlemald long ago. Yeah. 
She just said, well, I know I'm not gonna tell you demons. But then a new commander was sent to hold the Black Bridge. She demanded the Kaliana surrender a hostage, this butcher. Poor Dola. It doesn't make sense, though. The Vera are the ones working with the Resistance. Why would she threaten the Kaliana? Because she is ignorant like all Imperials. She knows not the difference between Kaliana and Vera, nor does she care to learn. I see. All Fadola knew for sure was that the Resistance would come from the West. She reasoned, therefore, that if the Ananta on the East Bank turned their coats, she would be trapped. I take it the Kaliana had no choice but to oblige her. I know who is the voice actor for this Ananta. I know who I know it, and I'm, it's my no, brain's not, did not picking. The Imperials left with the Kaliana Broodmother's own daughter, Anamika. Long days and nights, she looked out on the Black Bridge, weeping for her child. Until you came. No, there are not males. And here, we can read about the Ananta. The brood mother knew at once which way the winds would blow. She and her warriors met with the fleeing Imperials in the road and demanded that her daughter be returned. Bad idea. Vordola's not the kind to take threats lying down. You know her well. The Butcher turned her blade to Anamika and bade the Kaliana move aside. But the brood mother would not yield. I know where this is going. The Kaliana surrounded the Imperials, one of whom, whether out of fear or stupidity, cut the child down. There was naught that could be done. What madness. The true madness was yet to come. For in her despair, the Kaliana broodmother cried out for her daughter to be restored to life. She beseeched Sri Lakshmi's intercession. I'll give you guys information on the Ananta in just she a second. She primal then and there? That she did, if only for an instant. Bereft of courage and honor, the broodmother sought solace in her faith. The Imperials fled in terror at the sight of the goddess, abandoning these lands to the Ananta. Now the Kaliana bid us make pilgrimage to pay proper respects. Yet though we Vera revere Sri Lakshmi as the holiest of the holy, we will not prostrate ourselves before her. And so you turn to us? Aye. All who have fought with the resistance have heard tell of the warrior, the icon slayer. <laughs> yep, take a break, Brian. I believe we have heard enough. Inconvenient though the timing may be, if a primal has indeed been summoned, we can scarce afford to ignore it. We must needs <laughs> discuss how best to resolve this situation. Yep, don't don't forget to sleep sometimes, Quinn. Um, but yeah, so let's read. We're gonna read uh, the Ananta here. Um, so yeah. A serpent-like people who inhabit the mountains of Girabanya, consisting solely of women, this tribe has existed since the time of the Allegans and are famed for the proficiency with gemcraft, employing age-old magics handed down through generations. 
At a glance, the Ananta upper body appears similar to that of the Hurian female, but closer inspection reveals uh, that the hair upon her head is in fact a cowl of strands formed from rigid scales. Her most distinctive feature, of course, is a serpent-like lower body and a sinuous appendage which propels her along the ground with undul undulating motions. An Ananta molts at regular intervals, cons constantly renewing the glossy sheen of her scaled skin. Uh, the Ananta are hunter-gatherers and subsequently prim uh, subsist primarily on the flesh of their prey they bring down. The reliance on this meat is in large part due to the stark landscape of Kirbanya, and scarcely wild fruits and other vegetations there are. However, found of certain species of fungi and have been known to use mushrooms for added flavor in their cooking. Symbols possess Their symbols possess a unique sense of beauty, and the Ananta favor a symbol based upon their own shimmering scales to represent their tribe. The crest of the Vera, however, is a variation on the design used by the used by their insular kin, the Kalyana, and the employee in, and, and and employs an inverse color scheme. Uh, leadership. The Ananta tribe has traditionally followed the rule of the broodmother and inherited her position through the familial succession, a bloodline that legend says can be traced back to the very first Ananta brought into being by the Lady of Bliss. Since the Empire conquered the region, however, the tribe has splintered over difference in ideology, and the Kalyana broodmother unifying presence has begun to weaken. Uh, Society and culture. The Ananta are proficient in metal shaping spellcraft and use their magic to construct ovid dwellings from ore they draw forth from the ground. Jana Khat and Kalyana Broodmother's Fortress is a prime example of this unique form of architecture. Ensconced within their territory, the Kalyana isolate themselves from other civilizations in a bid to preserve their traditional ways of life. Conversely, the Viera faction of the Ananta elected to lead their ancestral stronghold and found the small settlement of Viera Nilia in the southwest. Unified under the guidance of Sar uh, Sarisha, the v and the Viera have contributed soldiers to the Alamegan resistance and actively sought interaction with outsiders. They are also known to have formed beneficial relationships with the nearby M tribe and regularly bartered goods with Mikote, regardless of faction. Uh, regardless of faction, all Ananta decorate their bodies with spell-shaped uh, spell metallic jewelry featuring embedded crystals. These crystalline pieces are worn to honor Lakshmi's dema demands for beauty and are valued as a reflection of the wearer's soul. Nomenclature. Ananta lay eggs without the need for a mate, and whilst the bonds between a mother and daughter are strong, they have a be but a tenuous concept of family. For these serpentine women, there is only the Ananta and everyone else. They do not see it necessary for a family name to distinguish themselves from their own kin. The names of individuals come from their own language and are often based upon Ananta terms for things of beauty. Uh, for on Sri Lakshmi, legends concerning the Lady of Bliss tell the beauty without equal, a benevolent goddess whose coming brings the promise of halcyon days and a bountiful harvest. Some believe that she has imparted her life bestowing powers of her most fervent followers. The Ananta, La uh, the Ananta, Lakshmi in her infinite mercy would shelter them from harm, granting them succor with her alluring embrace. And where Lakshmi comes from is, is a quandary, because if they come from the Lamia and by byproduct of the creation of the Alligans, much like Ruda, you know, what was the root inspiration for their gods? Well, I do kind of like what they tried to do with the setup for this primal. I feel like, but I feel like this information could have been conveyed in a more interesting manner. At least it's a voice acted cutscene. Like I, I, I don't know. Like I, I think it's fine. Um, like yeah, I think it could. I, I see what you're saying, Kogaku. At the same time, because it's voiced, it's like, I'm, 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 I'm good for it. Uh, never mind. They sort of stumbled in the pacing on this. I think one of my least favorite parts about Stormblood is the difference between the East uh, and Gear. The e Othard and Girabanian halves. Like, the part in Othar is so much better, in my opinion, the Alamigo part feels rushed as fuck. Well, the thing that's interesting about the Alamigo part is I don't necessarily... I, I, I don't think the... I don't think the... I don't think they build off of each other enough, is the problem. So the thing is, like, if you think about it, so it goes... There's four sections of Stormblood, and they are Girabanya, Othard, Othard, Girabanya. And the thing is, you start to do the Girabanya part, and then everything grinds to a halt, and Othard has to basically reset itself, and you go from zero with Othard. So you're effectively resetting the entire energy. But the thing is, then Othard gets to have parts two and three next to each other, so it's one whole arc. Whereas with Girbanya, because you've had part one so long ago at this point, it feels like part four is pretty disconnected to, to a certain sense from it. Which means that so much is happening in part four, not a ton is happening in part one, and part two does not build off of part one very meaningfully. And because you don't have Lise as a linchpin throughout it all, like you don't have something that could be a carry through throughout it, so it feels like that carry through is the primary thing. They aren't, you know, synchronizing. They aren't like building off of each other as much as they could. They do to an extent, right? They do to an extent in that, like, obviously the domains and stuff w will be relevant later, you know, and they do in that our time in Girbani is not without any purpose or that our time in part one ends up being that, okay, that stuff doesn't need to be explained or done in part four, but you know, sleep is for the weck. Yeah. I'm very weck. Yeah. 
Slap is for the whack. Sleep is for the weak. I'm glad the snake ladies don't sing. If they did, they would basically be land sirens. What makes you say that? Other than just like the female form. <clears throat> At the risk of sounding hopelessly naive, there may yet be a way to avoid violent confrontation. In the past, I fear I've been rather too willing to accept that we have no other recourse to risk our lives, or rather, your life, to address these threats. Yet the primals we've faced thus far demonstrate a variety of temper temperaments and objectives. Ravana may delight in the battle, but Ramul would sooner keep to the forest with his children. Ere we decide to challenge Shri, Lak Shri Lakshmi, Lakshmi, I would seem wise to learn more of her nature from those who summoned her onto the world. If that is your wish, then will, then soon we will be. To the north we will find our village, and sha she shall unfold all. We shall leave at once, Menago. Can you inform our comrades at the bridge of what will happen? Of course. Be safe, my friends. The problem here, and we're going to see this again, my point about the whole lease and, and, and uh, the lease and... Uh, Alice thing is going to come up again. They're going to give another scene that really could have gone to at least to Alice. And it's like, it, it, it just so many times over and over and over again. They, they, they just give moments that they kind of really should have been for least to Alice. And it's not because they're not within Alice's character, but because like, it's supposed to be Lisa's expansion. Let, let, let Alice have her moments later. She's, she's already had some good ones. Uh, I wonder if their base for basis for worship was based on whoever experimented on them, and they may have noted how beautiful the scientists had been and based the summons on the blend of the two. It's an idea. It's definitely an idea. Um, I mean, like, I, I can't necessarily support them, but it's a really interesting idea. All right, I was going to ask where you put the midpoint of the two Oathard parts. Is it when you enter the step? As for the midpoint, uh, yeah, you'd say so, right? Because you think about Kugane, uh, Ruby C., and then you go into the step. Honestly, the the exact midpoint, I would say, the exact midpoint is either the Nahama... Is, well, I mean, this, these cutscenes are back-to-back. -back, but it's the Nama comfort conversation and the scene between Lise and Hien in the jail cell. That is, like, pacing-wise, the exact... No, that shouldn't... That wouldn't be, because, because Yangsha happens, too. So, yeah, I guess it would be entering the step in terms of time. I feel like, emotionally, that's kind of the midpoint. But, like, no. Effectively, it should be the leaving of Yangsha Part 1. Going into the step. Because then you do Ruby C, Yangsha Part 1, and then Step and Yangsha Part 2. So, yes. That would be... That would be, in terms of time, accurate. Jubilant! Good to see you. Glad to have you. Oh. We do not often receive guests. What is the purpose of your visits? Greetings, and well met. We are Scions of the Seventh Dawn, and we come seeking Sarasha of the Vera. You are she, are you not? Uh, you have petitioned us for aid and succor, and we intend to provide them, but we would first learn more of Sri Lakshmi, and we might better, that we might better understand the nature of the threat she poses to you. A simple request, and one which I shall gladly oblige. In the beginning was Sri Lakshmi, we were created in her image, daughters blessed with her beauty, her breath become ours, her serenity our solace, there is naught she would not give us. Hmm, it was the Kualyana's broodmother's desire to bring about her daughter's resurrection, which first called forth Sri Lakshmi from the Aether. That being the case, I rather doubt the goddess would be spoiling for a fight. That would depend. The primal's motives would have been colored by the summoner's state of mind, namely that of a grieving mother who had just borne witness to her daughter's murder. Though she appeared craved a, um, though she apparently craved a miracle, she may also have harbored thoughts of vengeance. Moreover, the Kualyana's conception of Sri Lakshmi may differ from that of the Vira. This is true. The Vira and the Kualyana do not indeed regard the Lady of Bliss in the different ways. To the Vira, La Sri Lakshmi embodies freedom. She would not suffer her daughters to be bound to another's will, and so we stand with the resistance against the Empire and give our lives for the cause. To the Kualkana, however, she embodies transcendence, beauty, which they strive to create through their craft, to shape crystal in less art and more a ritual, a sacred duty wherein each tribute is embedded with the fragment of the soul. The Imperials do not interfere with this holy work, and so the Kualyana were content to turn inward and ignore our plight. Until recent, until reality asserted itself, and they summoned a primal, a fever dream to soothe their aching hearts. 
But surely they can see that this won't do any good. The Imperials will still rule these lands. Nothing will change. The Anata will... The Anata will. The Kualyana bade the Vera make pilgrimage to pray proper respects, remember? Those who do not wish to partake of their primal's bliss will be made to do so. Not while we're around, they won't. Though our beliefs are not the same, we are still kin to the Kualyana. Will you not help them to see reason? Ooh. I would say, no, that'll kill your god if I have to, would be a line, but maybe if I don't? What a dick. You can count on us. Then we shall, for without you, we may be powerless to stop them. If we do not act quickly, more lives will be lost, more families torn apart, more children made to suffer. Then it's settled. We're going to find the primal and put an end to this. My sister, Valyar, will guide you to the Janajka, and I shall pray for your success. Well met, Scions. I am Vajira, she who shines bright and unbroken. I stand ready. We leave upon your command. You are ready. Mm, you look ready. Ja Jana and Kwa. There you will find Kralyana Crystal and Sri Lakshmi. Fo follow me. How do I get up there again? Is it? Yeah, you go out and around. Uh, Bismarck is another curious one concerning the people who worship him. No, actually, there's some interesting associate. There's some interesting lines about that. So, um, there's a good chance that um, Bismarck uh, of the source is actually rooted in a creature that might have existed either in the Unsunder world or a byproduct of something like um, uh, oh my god, um, Thalos. But 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 there's there's I forget what the exact line is. I should make a mini a short about it. But that actually explains the roots inspiration for Bismarck. But he a creature of the sea that it got inspired the creature of the clouds. Um, stupid sexy snake ladies. <laughs> Are you angry at them Sagittarius because you're attracted? Weren't the Vanu a byproduct of evolution from the Exalt? No. The Vanu and Exile connection is basically Rito from the Wind Waker. Wait, are the Vanu Vanu related to the Exile? Not that I know of. I don't know if there's any evidence to suggest that. Uh, that is true, but now I want to go listen to the Dragon Roost Island theme. <laughs> Reasonable purpose. Okay, but then there's one of the great lines in. I like brutal honesty more. Puny God. It's one of my character's business cards. I couldn't remember, so I apologize, but I remember the Vanu evolved from the Exile, and Exile used to be flight-based. No, 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 no. The Exali evolved from the, um, what are they called? No, no, no. The Exali evolved from the, oh, what the fuck are they called? Um, Ex Exalian. The Exal evolved from the Exalian. The Vanu have no relationship to that. And then the Exali, the Exal lose their feathers when they live in Gridania. So that, the Exali are a completely different thing that you see found in Azizla. The Vanu are completely separate from that. Greatest line in 14, piss off Kubo. Janakwa, the path leads to an entrance above. Within is an Aetherite. You must enter, use it to enter. Unless there's something I don't know about the Vanu, but as far as I know, there's nothing that directly ties them to the Exal. Um, understood. Understood. With me, everyone. Maybe there's circumstantial evidence, but as far as I know, the Exali evolved from the Exalian, which were part of the Aetherio, or Fractal Continuum, Aether no, Aetherio Chemical Research Facility. Yeah, thank you for having me with that. I was honestly confused whether they were or not. Yeah, um... The Exalian are the things that you see in the, like, Fractal Continuum hard. Um... It's Fractal Continuum with the Aetherio Chemical Research Facility. I always forget. Uh, I always get those flip flops. Uh, let's see. Heaven's Word. Yeah, Fractal Continuum. Um, oh, I totally forgot that this Aetherite was here. I should have used that for some Aetherite footage. 
The Exali Algon connection is explicit in the Fractal Continuum hard. Yeah. It's explicit there, Tam. It's also explicit in EE1. Um, it's explicit in... There's a couple other places that it's, like, also very clearly alluded to. Um, but EE1 and, and Fractal Continuum hard are, like... Fractal Continuum hard just straight ex makes it, like, this is the case. Um... But there's a lot of evidence that supported that idea well in advance of it as well. Because of what we understood about Chimera and other creatures. Especially because you're exploring it with an Exile. Well, I mean, you're not technically exploring it with him. He fled, went there, and you're going after him. But you end up being co-synchronous with him. So you're not wrong. I know I'm being pedantic, but it is like... Look thee on her face, supplicant. Thy prayer hath been answered. Flesh sundered hath been made whole. Hello, you still Blood spilt runneth through her veins. Breath stolen filleth her breast. But she hears not her mother's words, nor sees her mother's face. She. She's silent and empty. Only the vessel may be remade, not so the flame which flickered within. Her soul hath been scattered to the four winds. See, they give this scene to her, it's like, I, I mean, it's in character for her. It's now appropriate to give it to Alice. But... for what they are. Alice, have you gone mad? Think about what you went through with Kaboom. Mayhap I have, but I refuse to stand by and watch yet another tragedy unfold. Who intrudes upon this sacred ground? Imperials, thirsting for blood. No, we come not to shed blood, but to save you from the false god who would lead you astray. I understand how you feel. I do. You loved her with all your heart, but when the moment came, you still couldn't save her. The anguish, the anger, I know it only too well. But I also know where this path leads. To embrace a primal is to condemn yourself to an endless cycle of despair. You will never know peace. A worm-eaten heart may find peace and serenity in service, in beauty and grace. This hath ever been my promise. Not else. They, they just pitched down your stole as voice actress. <laughs> <laughs> you tempt them with visions of things that can never be and leave them bereft and wanting. No illusion, however sweet, can change the fact that your daughter is gone. Remember her as she was. Do not suffer this piteous shade to tarnish her memory. For every prayer that primal answers, it'll demand payment in kind. Do you have any idea how many more Ananta will die to feed its hunger for crystals? They would have thee suffer man's spite and live in fear. Far better to dwell in my beauteous dream than endure so ugly a reality. She's wrong! We hate the Empire as much as you, if you just listen! I'm glad. I forgot there's this least part to it. Poor misguided children. I would spare you the torments of this cruel and misshapen world. Come bask in my radiance. Let it fill your hearts and free you from your burdens.
I should, I'm not sure I follow you because that's true for the, all the other primals as well. And also, we only the only like specific things we know about are the family from the song and the specific four-ish individuals that we see. So I don't know what makes that any different than any of the other primals. Congratulations! Apparently, the e the blessing of light slash the echo is able to protect. Well, actually, that probably was the blessing of light. Ooh, Ray Ray, can you make a note of that? Abide in misery then, fools. The Ananta are more deserving of my blessing. Because to use it from, as a, as a Leave broader shield. Leave these my dreamers be. 13, E-Machine. Good to see you, glad to have you, by the way. Like, tempered individuals in general are very similar to the comms of FLC, but I'm not sure what Sophia may, how Sophia is any worse than any of the others. Of, um, just this, remind me of this cutscene and, uh, just say Blessing of Light is the only, like, note that matters. Um, L.O.P. being pedantic, laugh my, la laugh my ass off, furry. You d did you mean to say funny and you just said furry, Edimins? Uh, I know I'm being pedantic. Nerd! Yeah. Well, it's okay to be, you know, being a pedant's not a problem for the nerdiness. Being a pedant's a problem for being a dick. Um... Our greatest enemy, 14, are not enemies, it's cliffs and rock slides. Uh, so he's a character me. Okay, that upheld arm looked almost disjointed. Scariest enemy is not a primal. Scariest is in a dungeon from Heaven's Word. Calco dolls? What the hell is Calco? Why is that so scary? Oh, I know. You're. Oh, I know what you're talking about, though. Yeah, the the um, a, um uh, you're talking about the dolls from uh, Anti Tower. Uh, Sophia is scary in the fact that one person in the town could doom the rest without any of them knowing what happened. Fields of people forced to walk to the same line and join in someone else's fate. I'm not sure what you're referring to, though, Astriel. Like, with that. Um. In terms of, like, tr lines of people. Because the only thing we get in the story is the reference to the mother, the father, and the, the, the mother, the daughter, and the, and the daughter who calls out for the goddess, and the mother who, like, abuses her after the father dies in the war against Alag. That's, um, and then beyond that, we just have the individuals. Unless there's a reference from, like, a nuclear high or something that I don't know about. Far better dwell in my beauteous bosom. Rest your weary head upon my helping bosom, heaping bosom. Uh, no, it's calling back to when I called furries on the internet. Pedantic. Ah, now I see. Jokes are funnier when you explain them. Jokes are funnier when you get, get the joke and laugh. Dissecting a joke is like dissecting a frog. You understand them both better, but they're also both dead in the end. <laughs> that's actually, I like that. That's a good, that's a good quote. I know, I know, I know it was stupid and foolish, but, but I had to try, Elio. I had to. I had to try and I failed. So you have to fight, and there's no other way. Never stop trying. It means a lot to hear you say that. It does, but it doesn't make it any easier to have you ask you to face that, that thing. We can but do that which is within our power. Lise, Elfino, and I will go to seize the crystals. This will not happen again. And you, when it's finished, will be waiting for you. Just based on Sophia's description with her powers capable of the summoner, the summoner of her died simply because the father of the house died and because of the events. Well, no, but her, her no. So what happened was is she, yeah, she compelled, but that's because she tempered the individual. So, like, any of the primals can do that. Because the father house died and caused the events of the household in the first place. Right, but it's... So what happened was, in the song, is... With Sophia, is you have... Father and... Happy family. Father goes off to war against Alag. Father dies. Mother it becomes abusive. Daughter is desperate and pleads for salvation. And in trying to create balance... Um ends up in the result of the death of the mother, because the daughter kills the mother, and then the daughter kills herself. Um, in order in order to, you know, like, also equate the scales. But that's also due in part to, like, tempering. It's not, like, a specific, just a specific power she has. Like, that. that's, all primals have the capacity to do that. Like, Lakshmi, effectively, is, is doing not something not dissimilar. Like, her obsession with balance to an extent. It, like, it's no more, like, mass destructive than any other primal, is my point. Okay, come into the tea tree. If you want to join us for emanation, I'll be coming to the tea tree.
God, that song makes me feel such a deep primal fear. Yeah. I think that was the first one I ever did a lyrical lore on, too. Oh, okay, I thought it was her power was the issue uh, out of balance. No, 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 no. She's obsessed with balance. So, there was three. And think about the mother and father as equal parts of the scale. The father is lost, so the balance must be redressed. So the mother the mother dies. But also, the daughter has now taken a life. So the daughter must give a life, too. And so in order to equate balance, she also give, you know, sacrifices herself. It's a little ambiguous, obviously, because it's also a story. But, like, her obsession is balance. All she is doing is she's tempering individuals. She's got power, effectively. But not a power, but just, like, power because of primal. She's obsessed with balance. And she can also temper individuals. Okay, we know, okay, so for sure we want to grab, um, what is even going on here? Uh, Deathberry, I'm sorry, which, uh, which, oh my god, Grahaptia, Jesus Christ. Uh, also is, Brooke, is that, are you with us? I need to make sure to add you to friends. Okay, so I'm little Lara, Jade, let's get Yon. Who, is, who even is that? Is that Willow? Probably. Sorry if I end up having to kick someone just because, uh, we'll see. Jesus Christ. Do we have some tanks? Uh, I'm the pink bunny boy. Okay, cool. I guess I just, ne we've never had you out around at the right time. Let's get you the friend request. And invite to party. Sweet. Okay. Mind if I join? Uh, okay, thought her power was the issue of balance. So she, yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries. No, no. And Astro, it's like, it's a good point of conversation. I'm just like, if you say something like that, it's not even like a, oh, you're wrong. It's more just like a, I'm not sure what, I, it, I, that it goes against what I understand to be the case. And it's not, and it, if, if I'm wrong, I would be like, oh, okay, there's actually this line you know about that I didn't know about. So that's all I'm more checking. Um, primal fears. Ha 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 ha. Uh, we already mentioned landslides. Like, uh, I'm the pink bum boy. Every visit to the tea tree is a new house of horrors for Elio. It's true. Hopefully I can make it soon. Yeah, Astral, you can... Des, it may kick you because you're able to... Because you spend a lot of time with me already. You are Willow. Actually, Willow tends to bail. We'll see what which one happens first. Um, or actually, no, is Willow even with us? No, Willow is with us. But then there's Grahop Tia. What is even going on? Also, what what are you... What are you... What are you... Where, Willow... Uh, Okay. Uh, I legit love these conversations. All good. Good, 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 good. I just don't want to, don't, I, I know it can be annoying when someone's, like, you're saying, like, something of interest or an idea or a thing you have, and someone's like, no, 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 no. So, I can come if DPS even need We don't need anyone, Astral. If you would really like to come, though, we can take one of the regulars out and have you join us. But, but we'll wait. We're only going to give it about, like, 30 more seconds. We'll give it 60 seconds while I keep them on chat. And then we're going to head out. I can hop if you need. No, no, no. Jan, you say. Let me put it this way. If we ever have people who want to join and who don't get to join in, I am going to have people who regularly get to join in, be that mod, so it would be Ray Ray, Ju Jubilant, or what have you, or people who I see very, very often, like Dest or Willow, or, you know, like hop out first because it, to me is I want to make sure people get a chance who don't usually get a chance uh we're all grahatia <laughs> who who is this <laughs> just okay you're in the you're in the FC by the way we have an FC if you'd like to join it let me know we also have a link shell if you want to use it Uh, Hyperion, correct? No, Crystal Curl. We are always Crystal Curl. I mean, it's fair. No curl. Astral, be ready that I, I don't think we can wait much longer. Uh, we gotta, we gotta continue on because we need to make it to the place and, and it'll take you a second to transfer. So I'll give it one more minute, but that, then we gotta keep going. Uh, I can't say much more about Graha without spoiling the next expansion. Yeah, I mean, we talk around Graha sometimes. We have a lot of people in the guild who really love Graha, so like... Pretty much a bunch of the people in the FC and in the dis in the Discord community have like a have Graha ults, and so that's just a running gag. That's also like where here I'll take a second to show this off. That's also like why you know building things like Graha cosplay. Uh, 
Yeah. Uh, well then, said running gag may well come into hand in the next expansion, that's all I'll say. Yeah! Yeah. Uh, I mean, most of us, most of us have completed the game. We just don't do spoilers for any of the people who are watching who haven't. Um. Okay. Uh, Willow or Dest, which one are you guys leaving? Thank you, Dest. Okay, in the future, just so it's clear, if you are not already here at the tea tree, I will not take you. Uh, like, I will give it a minute, but we're not we're not going to wait around for forever because we got to keep going on the schedule, and I'm not going to hang around for... I can't, I can't wait hang around for, for individuals. Uh, I tend to pre-warn at the beginning of the stream, and I will tend to tell people that, you know, we're going to hit trial in a bit of an advance. Um, just be... Please be ready. Why does the existence of Graha Tia make me laugh? Because it's hysterical? We got Graha Tua, Graha Fora, where's Graha Thria? The world may never know. Well, he skipped a Graha. Okay. 30 seconds and we're hopping out. We're just hop going in. Uh, there we go. Need you to switch over to a DPS, though. Thank you. Cool. Sweet, sweet. And let's get a ready check. Jesus fucking Christ. What, I what in God's horrific name is that thing? So I'm not gonna lie, I may have also bought a Graha 5.3 cosplay off of the internet for, and then like canceled the order because I didn't have the money for it at the time. Uh, and it also may or may not have just arrived. So we're gonna have to do something with that as well. I guess I'm gonna have to make the Graha 5.3 staff as well. Up to you, tanks. It's funny, I don't know why I never heard it as you stole his voice before in the back past. Open your heart to me. It's like so clearly you stole it. Fun fact, Titania is also you stole his voice actress. Guys, I want to know, and I want to know in chat with as much energy and loudness as you can give me, who is ready for Booba? Rest your weary souls in my bosom. I need more than that. I need Booba. Red, good to see you, glad to have you. Beautiful. Chef's kiss to you. Dance for the booba! 
Dance, monkey, dance! Who wants, why would you want someone to step on you? Don't, why don't you want them to hug you to your booba? I shall free you from your hate. Do not your souls weigh heavy? Right as I was getting good at Samurai, that's of course when I had to switch over to Monk. Don't forget your orbs. Your souls are stained. To free you from your hate. Booba! Be Gone? Isn't that a type of tea? Bo boba tea? Yes. Okay, now who wants to just get some boba tea and just like have it be a Lakshmi cup? Oh, loveliest of boobas. <laughs> She's pretty, but also scary. Very, very scary. Some people find that arousing. I don't necessarily, but some do. It's a pretty fight. Tell me that isn't a statement of contradictions. Oh, it's it's a petty fight. Or do you mean a do you mean a pretty fight? Boobity, scare rousing. That's a thing. That's definitely a thing for some. Good job, everyone. Ah, uh, yes, the fear boner. Oh, I was gonna take a photo, but obviously we had the cutscene. You did it again. You saved them. I just wish I could have been more help. So, it looks like the Ananta did have a mountain of crystals after all. Like every other tribe. 
gods were all such slaves to our weaknesses. This is a good scene. More scenes like this. No, no, no. Don't cut it. More time to lease. Oh, thank God. slew our mistress. She was our hope. Our salvation. Is there no end to your cruelty? Listen to me, please. I know that you're only trying to protect yourselves because you feel frightened and alone. But that's how we all feel, don't you see? If we could just turn to each other for help instead of the gods, I'm sure we could find a way to live in peace. Your crystals are important to you, aren't they? Reflections of your souls, right? Well, you shouldn't have to sacrifice something so precious to a primal. You're not alone, you have us. Who are you to question our choice? You who fight without fear? We wish only to live in peace. And if this be the price we must pay, then so be it! I know there's nothing I can say to convince you. But I hope that one day you look back and see we only ever wanted the same thing. Be gone, damn you! Spare me your hollow words and leave me to mourn. I'll go. But it doesn't mean I'm giving up. More moments like this. Girabania is in the earlier part. Too. And one way or another, we're going to have to learn to live together. Come on. Alphino and Alize are waiting. The savage returns, and with her tail his ass. between her legs, beaten by beastmen, I hear. It was a shameful display, by all accounts. She may have carried the Viceroy's favor with her bold promises, but in the end, she's just another plodding bungler like the rest of her kind. Strange. You would think him a better judge of character. Then again, I hear she's not averse to a more physical mode of persuasion. Oh, shit, he's calling her a whore. I thought she rose through the ranks rather quickly, but no longer. If only she had been content with her lot, she might have lived to see the morrow. It's interesting, because her face there kind of suggests that may not be fully a lie. I wonder if there's any validity to it. Dude, I played this like three plus four, almost four years ago. I may have caught it then, but just not remembered it as an element. Fordola ain't a pure maiden. That, that I can, she's only a pure maiden of anger. Commander of the Crania Loopy, reporting as ordered. Why do you tremble so? Could it be that the Empire's butcher is afraid? I believe the story she disagrees with you there. Death is terrified of her own. I'm terrified of dying having achieved naught. Gladly would I give my life to win a great victory on the battlefield, had I but the strength. Alas, you do not. Indeed, you are weak. And born of this weakness is a blind fervor, a raging inferno which threatens to consume not only you, but everyone around you. Yes, my lord.
You were defeated by the Resistance on several occasions. You misjudged the Ananta and spurred them into summoning an Icon. Have you anything to say? I do not, my lord. My failures are my own. I am prepared to accept your judgment. And that is very admirable. However, I've had enough of this dumb show. Give voice to that hunger I see in your eyes, or I will pluck them from your head. I want... I want to make them pay! All of them! Everyone who ever mocked or looked down on me! I want the power to make them pay! Hmm. Very well. Then I shall give you a chance. A chance to transcend your mortal limits. Assuming, that is, you are prepared to wager your life for such power. Transcend, my lord. I came here prepared to die. Tell me what I must do. Like, I wish there was a little bit more setup for Aulis. Because it really only rears the, all that, the resident all that only really here on the, four, the final fourth. And it's just too big a thing to not have any illusion towards. I wish we could have left on better terms, but that was never going to happen. It could be a problem if they get their hands on any more crystals, though. Never mind. We'll deal with that when it comes... When time comes for it. You have done us a great service this day. Long shall my sisters sing the praise of the Icon Slayer. Let us spring world to them of Sri Lakshmi's passing. Come, friends, to Vira Nyalia. Fora did, Fordola, did, Fordola thinks Fordola did things wrong. Vordola did absolutely did things wrong. It's like saying Abbott Selk did nothing wrong. It's just like, just because a character's charismatic and you like them doesn't mean they're immune from doing thing wrong things. And if anything, it's a disservice to think that people put people on a pedestal and pretend like all their actions are perfection rather than acknowledging them as human. Vordola absolutely did things wrong. <laughs> She did the best that she could in her, from her standpoint, with what she was given. Okay, now you're just trolling me, Gemini. <laughs> ah, that the wind spurred of your success, and your eyes confirm their testimony. The Lady of Bliss no longer holds our Qualgana sisters in her thrall, for this we thank you. Elio did the deed. We were, uh, did the deed. We were but witnesses to his heroism. However, I fear that this is only... Oh, no, wait, what? Okay. However, I fear this is only the beginning, for there is no cure that, for that which drives the desperate to beseech their gods for salvation. Should they wish to use the crystals to summon Sri Lakshmi again, naught can be done to stop them. We ignore our sister's plight at our peril. This we know. We shall endeavor to show them another path so that the day you speak of never comes. We're all in this together, Alamegans and Ananta. We understand that, we understand that. Hopefully in time, they will too. You and yours will ever be friends of the Vera. On that you have my word. We should be getting back to the Peering Stones. Thank you again, Sharisha, for everything. To answer on the early question, FC, I am Grahaptia. Oh, Red, good to see you. I, somehow I didn't, I like, I, I guess I'm just using seeing Willow's bun boy, but I love it. 
It was great to see you. Fordola reminds me a bit of Morgan from Dragon Age Origin. Not, not looks, but attitude. Yeah, I can see some of that. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, like, the chip on her shoulder is understandable. Her choices are, even if they, like, drive me to anger, I, I understand Fordola, right? I can have empathy and pity and sympathy for Fordola. But but she absolutely does make mistakes and, and all, absolutely does things that are immoral or heinous in the pursuit of uh, victory and power. Solus Zos Galvis's motives are understandable, but also he absolutely does commit genocide. You know, it's like. Both can be true. Morgan is a great character, yeah. Welcome back, Conrad and Marshal Tarupin. Uh, welcome back! Comrade and Marshal Tarupin came to rent her aid, but I hear they won't be necessary. It won't. Sri Lakshmi's gone, uh, but I should probably start at the beginning. I reinstalled Dragon Age Origins a few weeks ago and never got around to playing it again. I should fix that. Yeah, do it. Do it. Incredible. I didn't know what to say. If you hadn't been there to stop her, who knows where it would have ended. You've saved a lot of lives, Elio. Take pride in that. It must be said that this is something of an unprecedented situation. Previous summonings were, to my knowledge, planned well in advance by a tribe as a whole. Indeed, there are several aspects of this incident which bear further investigation. In any event, the Qualiana's supply of crystals must remain limited for the foreseeable future, and ambient aether love was closely observed. Uh, Gabu? Like, there is precedent for this. Like, within this group, there's precedent for this. Understood. The Alliance will consult with the Resistance and the Viera on how to best to enforce said restrictions. Thank you, Vice Marshal. To other matters, then, what news of the Imperials? None, which is itself troubling. It seems as though the skulls and the remainder of the garrison have fully withdrawn into the peaks. We've seen neither hide nor hair of them since Veladina. Regardless of their reasons, our path is clear. Father has decided that it is time to advance east. Finally! He was also most emphatic that you be spared further duties for the present. You are to rest. It would not do for the Warrior of Light to collapse from exhaustion during the march. We may not be strong or as quick as him, but we are soldiers nonetheless. We can deal with the Imperials. Aye, you earned the respite, so enjoy it. And the same goes for you, Manago. You've been away for your family too long. Don't deny it. As you say, sir. Thank you. We'll make the most of our time here. So tribal quests could have produced a warrior of light, correct? Yeah. In theory, there's no reason. There's no reason that... I mean, like, especially you think about the Sahagan um, individual that would have been... Uh, that their soul could have been... Uh, let me think. The only limitation on that is... Well, I guess the thing that's interesting is even though the beings weren't around... Yeah, I guess they're probably something like... Yeah, but in, in theory, there should be no reason that a tribe... I mean, in effect, there is one tribe that, in theory, could be the warrior. It literally is the warrior of light in potentially one version of it. Because if you have a Lalafell, then you are effectively one of the tribal groups is the warrior of, is a warrior of light. <laughs> Looks like it's up to me and mine to give you a prop, lot of proper welcome. Mother prepared a special meal for the occasion, and I have it on good authority that hers is the finest cook in this side of the Veladina. Rin, good to you, glad to have you. I realize today that the naming convention for the dragon is very inconsistent. I'm assuming convention, not convection, but in which way? Honored guests, I pray you partake in our humble offerings as we give thanks to your many valiant deeds. Thank you, sir. For this warm welcome, we are honored to break bread with you and your family. Come, come, eat your fill of our food and drink deep of our spirits. There's more than enough for all. Well, when you put it that way, don't mind if I do. But in which way? I mean, like, because the naming conventions are also, like, if I'm, I'm pretty sure EE1 has reference to it, that it's also very personal, so there's not a unifying thing. And also, the names of the first brood are obviously going to be different, because they're probably rooted in the Dragon Star, whereas the naming conventions of the broods are more rooted in some other things as well. Because some of it is Draconic language, some of it is not Draconic language, but but rooted in, like, mythological things that are still appropriate. She wasn't kidding when she said her mother could cook. Let's 
specifically in convention, but they aren't named after the same mythology. It's so many different mythologies. Well, in 14, though, it's it's the same mythology. Because the thing is, they're named in different mythologies in terms of... But that's, like, also true of primals and everything in 14 and all of Final Fantasy, is that they took names and ideas and concepts from all over the board for, for using for things. So they, like, unify them under their own thing within the confines of the game. Tell me something. The Beast Tribes... The tri so, okay, remember that if you're past 6.0, you should be calling them tribal groups. Because Beast Tribes is the term that, like, Garlemald uses and that the people who were literally trying to segregate and make the world separate are. And so there's a reason that they change over to tribal group. Uh, the Beast Tribes have a different... So tribal groups have a different look from mankind. But when the Viera, Minago, and Arak kind of... No, because the... So the whole point... And I have a video on this, if... Ray, if you're on, if you could link. The notion of a Beast Tribe is just all bullshit. All of it has been bullshit. Un after, like, 50 years ago, there wasn't the term Beast Tribe. Like, and people were just groups. The thing is that if you look at tribal groups, all of it breaks down. Literally, dwarves are Lalafell. Um... There's no reason that Pagel or Dragons shouldn't be com by, by the def standards of definition. Is it about language? No, they all have languages in their own languages. They're all spoken. They all have souls. They have the ability to have the Echo, even, potentially, as we see with the Sahagan Priest. So, no, like, the n fundamental idea around Beast Tribes is bullshit, and the game make goes to great lengths to point that out throughout the MSQ, as well as the tribal quests. Um, that it is a historical... Th it is a... It's the same way that... Um, Garleans call us savages, right? To Garleans, we're a beast tribe. The Elisons are a beast tribe. The Heers are a beast tribe. The, like, everyone else is a beast tribe. So th it's really important to understand that. Which, to be fair, is not a problem. I've mentioned before those were, uh, mythology of all the young dragons. Yeah. Um, is it true that Uldan went out of their way to convince people of otherwise that they coined the term beast term? Um, so it's not so much that they went out of the... So is it true that Uldan went out of their way to convince people of otherwise that they coined the beast term mentor so they so the thing is is that they started the codification of it with uh how they treated gobbies katari the amalja and like other trading partners um but the thing is is that limsa gradania all the other city states immediately jumped on that bandwagon too so while it the like legality of it and the laws of it started in, in Ulda. It's not really like Ulda became like the most prevailing force or anything. Gridania hopped on that bandwagon real fast because they were already said hated the Exol. Um, Limsa jumped on that bandwagon real fast because of the relationship with the Kobold and Sahagan. So like the the animosity and stuff was there prior. Just the othering and beast tribe designation to as like a codified way of securing like that othering. It it, it began. In Ulda, but the like the practices surrounding it were, were already present everywhere. Gridania jumped on that racism super fast. Well, no, I mean they've been they've been, they've been having that problems with the Exol and been against the Exol for for hundreds of years at this point. Um, the same way that like Limsa has been struggling with the Kobolds since what eight hundreds. I mean, I guess they've had an on and off again. They've had a positive and a negative and a positive relationship with the Kobolds on and off, um, which is uh, true for also they had a positive relationship with the Sagan at one point. Rudani was like, wait, why didn't we think of this first? I mean, the thing is, it's just because of the legalism of Ulda is why. But, like, the, the, like, Ishgar did the same thing with the Vanu, or the Nath, or the Dragons, or the, you know, like, um... But the entire... Literally, in EE2, there's even an entire page on this. Uh, I don't know if... It, that it literally is explicit. So, the, the MSQ makes this explicit. And that's why, literally, the climax of 5.5 .5 is what it is. Um... There, there's nothing that divides you as an Elizin from a Vanu. There's no difference other than, like, yeah, you're a different race, but it's the same thing. That th there's no difference between an Elizin and a Viera versus an Elizin and a Vanu. Yeah. Yeah, so, so that's one of our old videos. I made that a long time ago. I might be able to update it. But that's a video. I made that video during, like, 5.3. Like, before even Endwalker came out and a bunch of that stuff was even further codified. But it is very clear... If you haven't played the beast, the tribal quest, play the tribal quest. And if you haven't played, uh, and, and I mean, just if you haven't replayed the MSQ recently, the MSQ is very clear on this. It, the, the, there's this constant breakdown in this notion of, oh, what we thought of as this codified othering is just utter horseshit. In the same way that people think, oh, we know exactly what a primal is, and then you encounter multiple occasions where what a primal is is not what you think it is. So, for instance, you know, even 2.x is about you meet Ramu, and you're like, oh, you're intelligent, and you don't temper people unless that you want them to temper them. Um, you have Leviathan with the Sahagan Priestess. You have Shiva, which upends your entire notion of what a primal is. Like, it, it is the same level of bullshit. All sending creatures with the same respect and treatment. Yeah, absolutely. And that that's why that's and that's why 
But that's also really importantly, this isn't a thing that the developers realized later and was like, oh, we should change this. There's a reason that when you get to 6.0, all the term that changes from Beast Tribe to Tribal Quest, because it's part about part of the story, is a background part of the story of MSQ, of that revelation and of undoing old prejudice and of pushing things forward. Like, that is part of the MSQ. It is one of the story elements in it that is throughout every single expansion as a through line. And that is why when you get to 6.0, it become, they turn from beast, beast Tribes to Tribal Quests. And they, don't, it, they didn't just retroactively just make everything Tribal Quest. There's a major difference between the Miko and the Vanu. They get to stomp their feet in the Moon Derop dance. <laughs> All sentient creatures deserve the same respect. Yeah, now I'm imagining a Viera and a Vanu having a baby. I... See that that might not even work though, just because like so I have the we have the video that we put out right a while a little while ago about like um interspecies relationships and the limitations there and of so like Avir and Avanu if they did have the baby if they could have a child together um at all would probably just look like one of the parents based on what we see with the other spoken races I didn't think about it that much but it makes a lot of sense yeah it, it is it is a thing where like if you haven't been, if you haven't noticed it in the MSQ it is like a it is a major element of 2.0 2.x um, I mean, it, it really 3.0, um, 3.x, not as much other than, no, it is because of Gabu and his stuff and the Vanu, uh, or not the Vanu, um, the dragons, effectively the relationship with the dragons is, is a similar vein. Um, 4.0, it is to an extent with the, the tribal quest, um, 4.x, it's not as much, a little bit with like the Ananta and, and that relationship. Um, 5.0, not as much other than the fundamental assertions that you realize what, the, if the dwarves are a beast tribe, it's really making clear, hey, if the dwarves are a beast tribe, oh, the notion of beast tribes is bullshit. Because literally, you, you, if you know what the dwarves are, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and then 5.x is just all about that. 5.x, well, 5.4 and 5.5 especially, specifically, are all about that as an idea. That video is how I found the channel. The Interspecies 6, of course. Nice. Yeah. The Beast Tribe or the video. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, back to back to the story. You know, seeing her fa with her family, I can't help but thinking of my own. Hey, Elio, you want to make a family? <laughs> how my father would come home from a hunt with the dinner on his shoulder, and Yida would prepare it with herbs and spices. Our mother died when I was little, so she did most of the cooking. We didn't have much, but we had each other, and that was enough for me. But they wouldn't let us have even that. Theodric, Gaius, of course, father, and Yida had to fight. I would have too if I'd been older, but they didn't have to die. You're welcome, Demins. It never ends, does it? They call us beasts, and they treat us like them. They push, and they push, and they... Until someone pushes back. Until someone takes up arms, or, or summons a god. A false god. If the Twelve are watching us, what are they thinking? What are they thinking when they see the strong hurt the weak? When people fight and die and nothing gets better and it just goes on and on and on? There's no justice, just us. I know, that's why we're here, isn't it? Thanks for listening. I know it was just rambling, but... I feel better somehow. Who knows what the answers are, or if there even are any. Either way, life goes on and we've got to go on with it. Sorry, that sounded better in my head. I must be getting tired. Time to turn in, I think. Tomorrow's another day, eh? Let's see what it brings. Sleep well, Elio. Poor little Gabu. I want to hold him and cuddle him like he was two year old. Yeah, me too, Cathra. Cathra, have you finished? Uh, have you finished? Sh all of Shadowbringers and Endwalker. That's all. I'm, I'm, I won't say anything else. I love that. That's one of the most popular videos too. Of course it is. The, uh, notice it's one of the most popular videos because it's a clickbait video. Whereas like I, I like painfully don't do clickbait in any of my other videos. But anytime we do even slightly clickbaity titles, even if it's like one not one of our best videos or whatever, it will still do way better. I, sh I should get more into the clickbait. The moment when Skyrim gets stuck on the loading screen right after an important moment you did not save on. Yeah, it's tough for him. I was drinking when you said that, Elio. Now my chest is cold and wet. I'm sorry that I make you wet, Demons. 
Uh, our peers just double checking their backstories. Yeah. Uh, I think I read that on a motivational poster in the official cubicle ones. Yeah. Yeah, that was all I was doing. Yeah, just checking the information for RP. Gabu is my precious baby and I will protect him. Yeah. Is it just me or does that line seem a little disheartening? Uh, no justice, just us. Um, I don't know, because I think I think that if you think about spiritually, that's like it's it's about saying that the world does not inherently grant justice. It's that the world does not bend as some immutable law of causality towards justice, but that there is us and we can make it. I don't think it's negative or positive. I think what it is, it is an acknowledgement of, in the end, there's just us and our decisions and our actions and our choices and the path we take and the way we, what, you know, how we venture forth. Um, and I think that that's that's true of Stormblood, especially the story it's telling, but also I think broadly and yeah, um, Final Fantasy XIV as a whole. And I, I don't think it should necessarily be disheartening. I think it should be in something that we find strength and something that we use to, you know, stand tall in the dark so we carry on. Uh, I haven't got to play since my grandson got this kitten. <laughs> oh, no. Well, we're looking forward to you to coming back. We've been the arc of history ourselves. Yeah. The arc of the, you know, of uh, moral history is long and bends towards justice, but it does so because we bend it towards justice, not because it is an immutable fact of nature that it bends just by nature existing. There is something to be said for a home-cooked meal, is there not? We must cherish these moments, fleeting as they are. It's the little things. The fight will always be there, waiting for us to return. Okay, and that's what we're going to call it for tonight. I'm going to head over the tea tree to say hi and bye to all you guys who are still there. God, I love that scene so goddamn much. The fact that it's an Alamegan soldier. He's adopted me as his mama. He even tries to suck on my pinky finger. Oh, Catherine, that's adorable. Uh, Brooke. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got invite. Yeah, Lara's already got a friend invite. Yeah, I just want to make sure that I sent you guys a friend invite, but you were in a party, so. Uh, and that's Archer. Okay, cool. Well, we're going to head out here. Don't forget that we've got tomorrow. So I, I actually, at this pace and cadence and knowing the amount of cutscenes, there's a chance that we end Stormblood on Monday. Um, but remember that if we end Stormblood on Monday, we will be doing the, uh, trial series and the alliance raids. Uh, so we're going to be doing Ivalice for the, um, for one day. And then we're going to be doing, uh, Four Lords for the other. But so, so if we don't get Stormblood done till Monday, we will doing Monday, Tuesday, tomorrow will be, Monday will be, of the next week will be the, uh, climax of Stormblood. But if you'd like to join in for the, uh, warring, uh, for the, um, Four Lords and for the, um, uh, return to Ivalice. Uh, look for Tuesday and or the following weeks. Uh, Wednesday. New video will be out on our Wednesday. I'm thinking that it probably will be Lyrical or Scream, but we'll see. Um, I also have a short that I've been holding on to that I should put out. Um, beyond that, we have Thursday is me and Neri do a stream of Final Fantasy 2. We're almost done with that, and then we'll move on to Final Fantasy 3. Uh, Friday is Lore Book Club, which if you want to go join, make sure you go join over our Discord. Speaking of you haven't joined our Discord, go join there. Uh, and on Saturday, we have a community event. This community event is going to be maps. Uh, the, yeah. And then on top of that, if you'd like to support us, you can always give us super chats over here or join our Patreon where you get all sorts of fun rewards. Um, beyond that, uh, it goes a long way to supporting us to make this whole thing a lot more, um, sustainable. What? Wait, is this character literally named Wind Up Grahatia? Y'all motherfuckers. Y'all hilarious. I need to do Four Lords for a piece of glam myself. Well, there you go. Thank you for the wonderful stream. Always, Rachel. No, thank you all for joining us. I, I want to be... I will reiterate a thousand times. I have no problem reiterating a thousand times more. I love hanging out with you. I love going through this stuff and hanging out with you guys. And I am... It, it makes it a whole lot of fun. Um, and I'm very excited for the future. Do you like what we do? Consider showing your support. Sign up for our Patreon. Yeah, thank you, Ray Ray. Um... <laughs> The fucking Lala fell laugh. Uh, but yeah, uh, I will see you guys tomorrow for sure. Uh, and uh, I hope you have a lovely rest of your evening. For those of you who are struggling, know you're not alone. And for those of you who scream with the little Lala fell laugh, I want you to go yeet yourself off a of bridge in Limsa. With that said, I've been Elio for Sharon, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> Don't you make me turn off laughing sounds. I'll do it too. I'll do it to him.
Cheers, everybody.